Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Schmodown Throwdown. August 7th has been a banner day in the Ellis household for some 70 years now, and added to this great day's legacy will be two of the most epic cinematic combat matches you could possibly ask for. We have an inner geekdom championship to look forward to, and the undercard, well, that is going to be a team match for the ages. Two scintillating matchups that we're talking about right now. So folks, I can only tell you, it's a real good thing that we have two great matches, and that's why I'm dapper from the waist up. From the waist down, well, I told you they're going to be scintillating. It's going to get hot in here, so I have my loosest pair of boxer shorts on. Joining me momentarily is not only going to be Molly the Wonder Dog, Christian Harloff is also lurking in the background, tidying up before we get the matches underway. I want to thank all the fans that are here joining us, whether you're a Patreon member at the $10 tier or you're joining us for the first time from pay-per-view. We say thank you and welcome to the movie trivia schmodown community. These two matchups have been quite some time in the making, and we'll start with that headlining matchup we talked about, Kevin Smets versus Chandru. Don DePani. Look at the smile and look at the focus, the fire and the fury. Two gentlemen who come from very different worlds as far as how they approach a matchup, but their inner geekdom knowledge virtually unmatched. And we're going to find out who outweighs who by the end of this. A belt could indeed be exchanging hands. But let's not talk about that until we get through with this undercard, which is a headlining event all on its own. You have final exam where the big question is, um, is Lon Harris even going to show up? The delinquent may be here or there, but we know that primetime Paul Oyama is always on his best behavior in season seven, the new era, and he's ready to get it going. But Christian Harloff, as we welcome you in, the pride is what I saw on the lips of a lot of our commenters pre-show because Rachel Silverstrini, Ben Goddard, they clearly work very well together. Now that Rachel Silverstrini has a new hairdo, she's got the blonde going on, Ben Goddard, steady as always. Do you think the Pride is going to have a shot against two battle-tested warriors like Lon, if he shows up, and Paul. Well, they certainly have a shot. I mean, they've been playing really well together, and that's that's the thing you got to remember is that Tom and Paul were supposed to be the one-two punch for the Den and enter Rachel Silverstrini and Ben Goddard. And Ben Goddard, a lot of people have been using his name for Rookie of the Year and potential Rookie of the Year. He's played in three divisions. He's won a match in all three of those divisions. He's played very well. And the chemistry between those two is phenomenal. And they really work well off each other, if you've seen in their two matches. So they have a shot. There's no doubt about it. It's just there's something special about the way the final exam has been playing together. You look at what both Paul Oyama and Lon Harris... Lon Harris deciding that he doesn't uh, want to be as studious anymore and just really just lives life the way he wants to live it has been beneficial to him. It's been a bit been beneficial to swag. So who knows, Mark? It's going to be pretty, uh, pretty exciting nonetheless. Yeah, I mean, he could be living with Martin Riggs in some sort of trailer down by the beach, having a dog feed him beer. But we know that once he does show up, he knows a lot about movies. But Christian, we can't get into the faction in the standings too much yet without getting your initial thoughts on this incredible headlining championship match that we're looking at. You think we've gone deep and intergeeked him so far. Well, just wait until you see what Don DePani and what Smets are going to be bringing to the table. There's so much. There's so much here because it's uh, not only is it you, the easy part is to say it's going to be a great match, right? Because they both have so much knowledge. They don't like each other. They just don't like each other. You look at what's happening on backstage. You look at what happened on the preview special with Jen Sturger and Brad Gilmore. They have been going after one another. And Chandru has a big smile on his face. He says he respects Smets, but it doesn't look like he does. He likes to taunt him. He's been taunting him. He's been he asked he asked the man if they were going to FedEx the belt to his house when he won. Uh, and that did not sit well with Smets. And Smets, this is a thing though because I w there was a comment that came up the other day about um whether ring rust was real in the Schmodown. And I think it is real 100 
percent. I think that it has happened with past competitors when you've been out for a little bit and you come back and you're not ready and you're not prepared. Uh, it, it can it can bite you. I don't think that's the case with Smets. Even though he hasn't uh, competed in like seven or eight months, I think I don't think that he's missed a beat, but we'll find out later on today. I'm very excited for it. It's the first title defense we have at all in any division. That's right, and thousands of fans watching us across the world, so we are going to be on our best behavior. And as we look forward to the matchups, Christian, the combat that's going to happen in the arena is one thing, but the gibbering and the jabbering that's going on between the managers, that is something else entirely. What do you make of it? Uh, the, the, I mean, it's it's one of it's part part of it is what I like I said they don't like each other. Smets doesn't like what Chandru has done and the way that he's uh, talked after in post interviews and and the way that he's conducted himself. Even though it certainly seems to be working for Chandru's attitude, and Chandru thinks that Smets is overrated. He doesn't like how much attention he has. He certainly didn't like the idea that uh, we touted him as the most dominant player. He doesn't think that's the case. He, he, he's he's made it very clear. Now it's it's the, the bigger story, the biggest one of the biggest stories here is swag. Now you got to remember in the standings right now, Swag has a p the opportunity to take over first place tonight. The, the team's matches were two points tonight, uh, with a possibility of three for a knockout. The Inner Geekdom Championship is worth four points with a possibility of five with a knockout. So Swag could take over first place and be the first uh, faction to do it since January. Uh, so it's gonna there's there's a lot. There's a big story here today, Mark. It's pretty it's pretty gnarly. It's been fun watching the factions because it's at some point in this year, Christian, we saw a few try to pull away. But now I think between what's going to go down tonight and the impending singles tournament, anything is possible with any of the factions. And so whether you're rooting for a particular player, a team or a faction, buckle your seatbelts because it's going to be a bumpy ride and an enjoyable one for the rest of the new era season and beyond. So as we look towards final exam and the pride being I even hate to say the word undercard because this is a headlining match in its own right I'm pretty sure that the best in the business Eric nerd chronic Rodriguez has cooked up something pretty special for us I think so too we're going to find out exactly how we got here with both of these teams right now and your winners that wasn't quite what I expected last time, but things, by all regards, went pretty well. Um, hopefully Lon will be there again. Lon? Yeah, no, Lon's ready? Come on! I swear to God, man, if you didn't get his act together... Why Rachel Silvestrini, given that she's had some weak play in the past? I think that was Frank Janish. I think, again, he's saying how the Pride and Rachel Silvestrini doesn't belong in the team's tournament or the singles tournaments. There are a handful of other players you could put in over Silvestrini to give yourself a better shot in the tournament. Frankie Janish running his mouth every five seconds about how inadequate of a player I am and how Kate doesn't know what she's doing. Answer me this, what's more dangerous than a lion lying in wait? Fact, nothing. With a manager like Kate Mulligan, with the movie trivia know-how of both Rachel Silvestrini and Ben Goddard, they get more confident, it seems, with every passing round. I don't care who you put in front of us. We've proven that we are here to play. We're here to win those belts, and we want our shot. We're facing a tough team. I'm, I'm a little scared. I, I hear their heels. I hope they're not too mean to us. Paul is so ready for this. He's ready to give the final exam to the Pride. Y'all think, y'all think you've seen the best team that you have so far, and you have uh, next week. It's not over yet. You guys are going to be right back Wait, here. Hang on. Yes, sir. Not over. We got to do this some more. I'll figure out if I got to If I have to go and find him myself, I will drag him here. You know, we'll be as prepared as we can be, uh, and we'll do our part. At least I'll do mine. Uh, Lon will probably be there, hopefully. We're hungry for some meat. You know what kind of meat we're hungry for? Sam from Hawaii. You see what I did there? Good luck to you guys over there at final exam. I'm looking out for you, Paul, you young whippersnapper. Lon, you're going to get your life back on track one day, but I really hope not. So come for us because we're ready. 
And I can't wait to hear what Frankie Janish has to say after this match because the only numbers he really needs to talk about is the fact that we're now 3-0 and and well on our way to getting those belts. I really love the name Final Exam because this is your last test. And I guess I'm here to win Rookie of the Year. There was someone else running for it. I don't know who it was. I don't know. I guess we got to try and keep the train rolling. Um, I trust Winston and Mon will probably be there. Oh, can somebody check on that poor dog? I de- look, the delinquent is making his own decisions, Christian, but we need to make sure someone is looking after Taco. He deserves better. I think that dog is probably taking care of Lon at this point. Uh, so I, I think it's fine. Uh, the question is whether or not Lon is even going to be here today. He's shown up every time he's supposed to, and he's shown up uh, as far as playing trivia. So, look, I don't know. Do we have the – if we have the current standings, I'd love to throw those up real quick to show um, exactly where we are and how important it is. As you look right now, the swag, 24 points. If they can win this today, if they can get – whether it's a, a regular victory or a TKO, if they get a TKO, they're going to be tied for second place. If they get a just just a regular, and they'll only be three out of first. This is a big match in general for them to start to creep up. But then you look at the den with fifteen; they also need the points here. They need to be able to move forward, and it is also massive because going next week, the winner of this will play Shazam on the undercard of Dan Merle and Ethan Irwin. All right, so now. Mark, we know how important it is, and we're going to be able to see both managers tell you how important it is because representing the den, Kate Mulligan, and of swag, Winston Marshall. Winston, let's start with you there, man. So, look, you are having a hell of a season. This is a massive, massive night for you. Not only is it an opportunity to take over first place, it is also an opportunity for you to win your first ever championship. How is swag feeling about today? Oh, man. I mean, first of all, ladies and gentlemen, I just closed the bottom camera so it doesn't look like I'm out of my mind. Uh, first of all, welcome to Swagathon 2020. I'm happy to have every single one of you. I don't know the numbers because unlike Frankie's ridiculous, I don't really do much around here. I don't really look at the chat and whatnot. I'm focused on making sure that my guys are ready to go. So I'm very excited about this. First of all, we're going to roll through this uh, tired Lions then because Lord knows Panthers are way doper way doper than lions and second of all then we're gonna go and get a belt i'm very excited about tonight i you know i've been drinking apple juice today i'm very ready to go okay so kate we look at winston and he clearly has an amazing setup there he kind of looks like the new version of rufus from bill and yeah. ted's excellent adventure yeah uh, mother den when uh-huh. you look at your team the pride yeah. rachel silverstrini ben goddard we know what they can do both behind the mic when it comes to answering trivia questions and fetching us hot cheetos at 4 a.m but what are they going to do mm-hmm. under the white hot spotlight of a live event that is currently being viewed by tons of fans uh, by the way i mean winston's got some black lights from uh the disneyland rides that couldn't open but i, I got a bunch of doors so so Who's winning? Who's winning that game? Oh, listen, are you kidding me? These guys are ready. These guys were born ready. You know, they, they've been un- underestimated even by me at the start. You know, I was like, oh, yeah, Paul and Tom going to put them together. Guess what? Who's our team now? It's the pride. So starting off at the very beginning of the year, they're always been playing from behind people's expectations, but they're not playing from behind. You know what I'm saying? Well, it is time to slap the carp. There's no doubt about that. So if you are now talking about what's happening in the standings and how it all – look, Winston, we know how important this is for you. We know how important uh, this match particularly. But tell me about Lon. Uh, how, has been, how has it been? Because, look, he's winning. So is it a thing where you don't want – I know he's frustrating, but it's like do you want to bother what's going on with him right now? So uh, if you couldn't tell, I mean, Blacklight, no. I'm, I have more money than that, Kate. Uh, you know, I don't know what's going on with you. What this is is my mood light. So depending on what I'm asked, what's going on, 
You know, if I'm feeling swaggy, it'll be a little purple. But if I'm a little pissed, it's going to be red. I don't know why anybody keeps asking me about Lon because here's the thing. At this point, I've given up trying to find him. I just, I can't do it. Either he'll be here or he won't. And if Paul has to win by himself, I guarantee you he could do it. But if Lon shows up, then it's, it's game blouses. That's all I'm saying. I, I hope he's here. Was he here? I don't know. Did y'all see him beforehand? I don't know. All right. Well, look, uh, this is going to be a hell of a match. Really excited to see both Kate and Winston go head to head again. Kate, you had one more thing you wanted to. Well, yeah, it's just that, uh, I wasn't expecting this opening part to be so long. So I've got a bag of meat I have to eat real quick because oh. uh, because I came hungry. I just didn't know the promos were going to take so long. So I probably got to get this back in the fridge. But the point is, we're hungry for raw meat. All right. Fair enough. All right. Well, thank you to Kate. Good luck to both you and Winston. Uh, they're excited. Uh, understandably so. This is a big match on a big night. So are you ready to get going, my friend? Yeah, I, I don't know if it was Winston or Kate who Molly decided to turn her back on, but I think we need some beautiful faces and a lot of movie trivia correct answers to get her to look camera center. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Introducing first. <laughs> Representing the dead with a record of two wins, no defeats, Ben the Bandit, Goddard, and Rachel the Switchblade, Silva Streety, the There they are, Mark, the pride. Both Ben Goddard, Rachel Silverstrini. Look, I got to ask you first, Goddard. Um, it's very noticeable inside of that promo that both you and Rachel, not focusing on Winston, not focusing on Lon, and not focusing on Paul, focusing on Frank Janish. Uh, it, you think that could be an error at, at this point to worry about Frank? I want to clear the air real quick, Christian. There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of bird calls out there right now, and you know what? Two can play at that game. I'm not here to chicken out. I'm not here to duck the competition. I'm gonna watch uh, you and Mark like a hawk, uh, and you know what? I'm here to play a good game. And don't worry, Mark. I still love you. You're just a big old silly goose. So we'll just have a fun time. Beautiful. Well done. And I am going to fly like an eagle to the next question. And that is for Rachel. Uh, you and Ben seem to have great team chemistry, but it may be fragile simply because you haven't played as a team together that often. So do you have any hesitation, any fears about how it's going to work virtually? And if not, can you tell all the fans watching what makes you and Ben special? Well, I mean, were we lacking in chemistry in our first match together? No. Why should, why should we be missing chemistry now? Uh, just the fact that we're not sitting next to each other during rounds two and three, that's ridiculous. We've got this. It's fine. You know, guys, so the winner of this will go on to play Shazam. And this is a this is a big match because we don't know what holds in store for your faction as far as a team's tournament. Do you worry about any of that stuff or you just worry about kind of the game that's at hand? Do you prep because it's only a week from now until your next match if you win here tonight. So do you, do you start do you worry about that or you just focus on Lon and Paul? Just Lon and Paul. The only other thing I'm worried about, I'm I'm with you, Christian. I'm worried about Taco. I'm really worried about Taco in Lon's uh, Lon's care right now. But other than that, I'm totally focus on final exam all right well we're going to tell the dan excuse me the pride here representing the dan we're going to put you in the waiting room while we get to your opponents so good luck to both of you and their opponents <laughs> representing swag with a record of two wins no defeats. The delinquent Lon Harris and the former movie trivia showdown champion of the world, Paul Oyama. Final exam. Lon, Lon. Oh, you're here. 
He made yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. That 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 jerk taco kicked me out, so I had to find a new spot. But here I am in the woods. Well, you did it, Ron. You figured it out. Like say, I'd also like to say a pigeon is a kind of bird. Oh, okay. Well, uh, that's I mean that's that's accurate. Doesn't no is that point. five points? Is that five points for us? Not, not also, just yet. Fox, yeah. Not, Dogs, not, there's lots of birds. I can name birds. Fair enough. All right, Paul, let, let me start with you because I'm, I'm pretty sure I can get a clear answer out of you if I ask you. Um, so we now, look, I think that everyone has noticed this. I think even on the um, preview show with Jen Sturger, she asked you about this. Your new attitude, I think, has been everything for you. You have you're approaching the game. I mean, you've already if you li listen to someone, I know how much you respect like Ben Bateman. He touts you as one of the, the the best players in the game because of the way that you look at the game, the way that you study the game and that you are the future of the league. How do you take that and how do you try to to take what you're doing and give it to someone like 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 this? Um, well, you know, those woods are a little scary for me, so I haven't been able to make it out to, to talk to Lon about that kind of stuff. Um, but I think it's more of an osmosis kind of thing. I'll do my part. Lon will do what he does. It's worked so far. Maybe it'll work today. Maybe it won't. You know, what I've done before, the player I am, none of that matters. The only thing that matters is the final score of this match. And uh, that's the, pretty much the only thing I'm focused on right now. Okay, Lon, in prepping for this question, I, I wanted to ask something about movie trivia, but also something that applies to your current situation. Young man, are you looking at me? Oh. Are you looking at the camera? Whose woods these are? I don't think I know. Okay, that's that you're butchering Robert Frost. My question is, with the state of the world in the last few months, why didn't you, a proclaimed movie fan, think about just squatting in an empty movie theater and living there in comfort instead of outside in the wilderness? That's a, wow, that's a really good idea. I just uh, honestly had had not occurred to me at all. But yeah, you're you're totally not only open popcorn, all the popcorn and old hot dogs you can eat. It sounds like paradise. I'm gonna I'm gonna go look into this after the match, Lon. After the match, maybe. All right. Well, la I mean, last, last we could question. Here. We could cut this short if you just want to go. No, no, it's okay. Uh, Paul, last maybe question. Not. With, with knowing how close Swag is now, uh, with a big victory here by you guys and a big victory by Chandru, if that can happen tonight, you guys will either take first or overtake first place. Do you think about that going into the match? Or again, it's just focus on the match, see what happens. Uh, there's so much season left, honestly. I like It would be amazing if we took the lead tonight. Um, but if not, there's so much time left. There's the singles tournament, the teams tournament. All these things that have to happen, spectacular. I'm not super worried about getting the lead right now. I think it's about who has the lead in the end. We'll do our part to get every you know inch, every mile, every inch counts. Um, but you know, not really focus on those long-term goals. It's all about the short term for us right now, and that short term is this match against a really good team. All right, fair enough. So yeah. now we're going to bring uh, Lon. You wanted to scream at somebody. I was just going to say, speaking as a uh, four-time Schmodown champion, I'm just looking forward to the match ahead of us. Well, Lon, just so you've actually never won a championship. Okay. All right. So let's, well, we got, we've got the pride. That's, that's fine, Mark. we got the pride here. We have final exam. Mark, we got here uh, round number one. Yes, in a match like this, Christian, thank goodness there are rules. In round at number one, the field of competitors is going to hear eight questions from eight different corners of movie trivia schmodown know-how. Each question is worth one point. There is no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing in round at number one. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever utensil you have handy on whatever writing surface you prefer. One, your body does not count as a writing surface. Each team throughout the duration of the three round match has three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match. If you're not sure you heard a question, right? You want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the match. A competitor or team may initiate a challenge, but you will have your manager come in and they must ratify and confirm the challenge. Ultimately, minor, this is a team's match. However, it is an individual test of movie trivia know-how in round one. You may not confer with your team partner for any question in round number one. All right. So we start with Ben Goddard. Are you ready? I am ready. Paul, are you ready? Once more into the breach. Let's do this. Rachel, are you ready? There we go. Yes. And Lon, are you ready? Sure. Then let's get ready to schmodown. Round number one, question number one. Here we go. All right. In the realm of action adventure, what is the title 
of the third film in the Die Hard franchise. Uh, Mark, did you see that all the David B music they played during the countdown over there? It was uh, all available now at the store. It is unreal how talented that guy is, yet we're here. Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Ben Goddard? Uh, Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yes. And Paul? Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yes. And Rachel? Die Hard with a Vengeance. And Lon? Yep, it's Die Hard with a Vengeance. Okay, so it is now two to two. Two to two. Scoreboard is up. There it is. Two to two. And next question, Mark? Every question goes that clean. We got nothing to worry about, partner. Your next query is in the world of family films. And the question, which comedic actor plays the main character Skeeter Bronson in the Disney film Bedtime Stories? And we remind all of our wonderful fans here, please, no answers in the chat, whether they're serious or joking. We appreciate your fandom, but do not answer in the chat or you will be booted. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Paul Oyama. This is how he wins. Adam Sandler. That is correct. Rachel. Adam Sandler. Yes. And Lon. It's Adam Sandler. Yes, it is. And Ben. Adam Sandler. 4-4. Four, four. As we get to our next question with the pride and final exam, dramas. David Oyelowo portrayed Martin Luther King in what historical drama? Oh, it's just so nice having the match underway, Christian. So much hype and excitement and preparation, yeah. and now it's here. And when, when does it actually five, get started? Four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Rachel. The butler? It's incorrect. Uh, Lon. I believe it's Selma. That is correct. And Ben. Selma. Yes. And Paul. Be very powerful Selma. Yes. Okay. So it is now a total of six to five. Six to five. Six to five. That next. is correct. And your next question is in the world of... Listen for Scott Mann's shouting. Movie release dates. Your question. Denzel Washington won an Oscar for Training Day. Training Day was released in theaters in what year? Scrapping it out now, Mark. Nice little question there. Have, I got to go back and watch that movie again. It is really good. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. Lon Harris. I said 2004. It's incorrect. Uh, we go to Ben Goddard. 2001? Yes. And Paul? 2001. Yes. And Rachel? And 2003. Didn't have it. So Paul, <laughs> still perfect. Ben, still perfect. As we get to our next question, it is seven to six. Seven to six. Here's the next question. Fantasy sci-fi. Fantasy sci-fi. Who plays the title character in the film, The Chronicles of Riddick? See, I took a pause there because you thought it was going Narnia, huh? If, if you say the word Chronicles, I'm going to the movie. It, yeah. it doesn't matter what it is. I love that word. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. Repeat. Okay, first one. Go ahead. Uh, here it is. Who plays the title character in the film, The Chronicles of Riddick? It's the first one from the Pride. You know who says the word Chronicles very well? Who? Sean Connery. Oh, of course. Do an impression. Do it. You're good at this. No, I'm not good at that one. That's Riley. Five, four, three, two, one. You hold the mound now, dog. See? Nope. Bad. Uh, <laughs> uh, ben. A for effort. Uh, Vin Diesel. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> now we come to uh, Paul Oyama. Vin Diesel. Yes. And Rachel. It worked, Vin Diesel. There you go. And Lon. Rachel. Yep, Vin Diesel. Yeah, see, smart move there by Rachel Silvestrini, who took the time, used it when she needed to, and they find themselves only down by one here. Nine, eight, final exam. All right, next one. Here and it smart is. move by Christian Harloff, checking to an impression he does well. Your yeah. next question, laugh with me at home, crowd. Comedies. What the? RB3 is laughing behind the scenes. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> what kind of bird was that? Your <laughs> question. That was a good one, Paul. <laughs> What film released in the first decade of the 2000s has the subtitle Cultural Learnings of America for Make Benefit Glorious Nation of Kazakhstan? That's really the entire subtitle? Crap. It is. 
Hey, we made you write it. I'm so glad we don't have to write the full title. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, Paul Oyama. Borat. Yes, and we get to Rachel Silvestrini. Borat. Yep, Lon. Do you Lon. do this impression? It's Borat. That's very nice. And, and <laughs> two, You'll never get this. It's ben Borat. Gunn. Yes. Okay. He I hit apologize it. to everyone at home. I created a monster. You caused it. 11 to 10. Final exam still has a one-point lead. 11 to 10 as we get to the seventh question. And remember, both Ben Goddard and Paul Oyama perfect thus far. There it goes. Horror like slash thriller. Which actress plays the main lead in the 2016 thriller? The girl on the train. Name the dog, Indiana. <laughs> yes. It's not very easy, is it? I found the cure for cancer and now I've lost it. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. Rachel. Emily Blunt? Yes. Lon Harris. Uh, I didn't get it. I said Alicia Vikander. Weekender. Okay. Alicia, uh, you missed it. All right. So then, Ben. Emily Blunt. And Paul. Emily Blunt. So, but with that, though, it looks like the Pride has tied the game here. So, Pride ties the game, and we still have a perfect game by both Paul and Ben. 12 12. So, Mark, if both Ben and Paul hit here, then they will both be asked a question, a uh, bonus question, that is. So, here is the eighth question. That's right. They're going to have to navigate their way through the power lines of animated movies. Movies drawn by hand or on a computer. Your question. The song. I'll Make a Man Out of You is performed while young men are trained to be soldiers for war in what Disney film? I was wondering if they're going to get it. You know what I mean? Uh, no, Jason, I don't. Can you guys go back to bird calls, please? <laughs> Five, four, three. <laughs> one, pens down, there it is. please. There it is. Lon Harris. I, do I get to answer this one? Yes. Uh, aren't I still? Am I still in it? Oh, okay. I know it. Uh, Did it's you write Mulan. It Did you write it? Did you, you didn't? No, you didn't write it down, Mulan. I thought, I thought this was the bonus question. I'm sorry. You missed that one. All right. So that's a that's All a right. that's a miss. All right. All right. I'll miss it. I missed it. All right. And then uh, Ben. Mulan. Yes. And Paul. About a girl who's got a brain and always speaks her mind. Mulan. Yes. And Rachel. Of course, I got Mulan. All right. So both. Good job, Rachel. Sorry, both, Bob, Bobby, sorry about that. You're right. Paul and, Sorry, ben, Paul and Ben both have gotten a perfect round, but because Lon, what, the delinquent was not paying attention, we see there's still 14, 13, and we get the bonus question. This is for you guys. You do have to write it down. So Lon and Rachel do not answer this one, um, but make sure you write it down same way that you have him before. Are you ready, Ben? Yep. Are you ready, Paul? Yep, yep. Here you go. Who directed the trilogy of films, The Da Vinci Code, Angels and Demons, and Inferno? That's what I love about these questions, Christian. It, you got to recall so much so quick in 15 seconds. Yep. And then you got to write it down. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Goddard? Ron Howard? Yes. And Paul? Ronnie Howard. So look at that. So at the end of the round, what a round it is. The the pride taking the lead here over final exam 15-14 at the end of round number one. All right. So <laughs> round number two. Mark, how does it go? Not sure what animal that was, but we move on to a the lion. Wheel round. It was a lion. Thank you, Kate. The wheel of fate, doom, and ultimately. Hopefully Swift Justice is the star of round number two. It's a virtual wheel. We're not going to four different homes, obviously. So once you spin that wheel with your team mind, it's going to land on a category. Once we settle on the category, the team will be asked six questions from said genre of movie trivia schmodown know-how. Each question is worth two points. There's no penalty for stealing. Oh, wait, well, you can steal, though. We don't care if you miss a question, but if you do, you're other team has a chance to steal. They can steal for two points. They can steal for one point. If you need multiple choice, ask us. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. And like I said at that point, the value of the question dips down to one. Uh, keep in mind, this is the team format, so teams may confer on each and every question asked in round 
number two. So Christian, here's where we stand. We have impressive performances by both teams, but now it is going to be up to the pride to see if they want to go first or defer. All right. So we are going to drop out both Lawn, Paul, and Winston at the moment. It's going to be 60 seconds to decide. Uh, you have six seconds to decide here, Kate? Yeah. Starting okay. now. Great. Okay. So here's, I mean, there's, there's a couple of things we can keep the point lead getting bigger and bigger and bigger, but also, you know, it, you, it's, if, if they go first and they take something off, but they could take off one of your wheel slices. Where are you guys feeling about this right now? Uh, I say we haven't lost with going first. So I'm, I want to go first. I'd like, uh, unless, you know, Rachel, I want to hear from you too. Obviously I'd like to go first though. Cause you know, we're two and oh with going first. Let's yeah, do it. I'm totally fine with that. All right. right. Reminder, the score is 15-14. The Pride with a one-point lead as the wheel will come up now. Here can I uh, can I use the rest of the time just to wonder why I put Rachel Silvestrini in this? Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Okay, anyway, sorry. Spin it. All right, here we go. Here is the spin. Man, man, look at all these categories. Did I see the beautiful name of Kurt Russell up there? I think look I at all these chickens. And landing on John Carpenter films. 60 seconds to decide. How do we feel? Is there, is, is there something worse up there still? I'm not mad about it. Um, I know opponent's choice is out there. Uh, and they could I'm just, okay with spinning again. They could just give you John Carpenter, honestly. So. Yeah. But if they do, uh, yeah, that's, let's, let's spin again. That's fine. We'll spin yeah. again. All right. Here's the spin. This is whatever they have here. We're going to find out in a moment. There it is. You know, I'm very intrigued by that young adult adaptation yeah. wedge. And we're going to find out in a moment what they're landing on, and it is spy films. All right. Okay. Spy films. So here's how it's going to work now. The final exam will be dropped out of the room. Winston will be able to stay. Hands will be up while Winston watches in case he wants to cha challenge anything while watching. So both primetime will be dropped out. All right. We dropped out both primetime and Lon Harris. And we will ask six questions in the realm of spy films. All right. So now that the other team is out and in a separate room, Pride, are you ready? Yep. Yep. Here's question number one. Who plays Maxwell Smart in 2008's Get Smart? Uh, Rachel, I believe it's Steve Carell. Steve Carell, Steve Carell final answer. Steve Carell, final answer. Two points. That is correct. All right. Here's question number two. Owen, da Owen Davian is the main villain of which film in the Mission Impossible franchise? Uh, I believe it's Philip Seymour Hoffman in Mission Impossible 3, if you want to trust me on this one. I'm down to trust you on that one. Mission Impossible 3. Final answer? Final answer. Final answer. That is correct. All right. Sorry, I forgot the final answer. Thing, my bad. Yeah, remember to keep final answer. Yeah. Um, all right. Here is question three. In Kingsman, the secret surface. Surface? Nope. Oh, in Kingsman, the Secret Service. What is the mantra of the Kingsman that Exy recites during his phone call to be released from the local authorities? I want to say manners maketh man, but I don't know if it's the if it's the what he says on the phone. Wait, um, because what he says on the phone is uh, when he when he calls into repeat. Kingsman. Repeat. Repeat. Yeah. In Kingsman, the Secret Service, what is the mantra of the Kingsman that Exy recites during his phone call to be released from the local authorities? I kind of want to go for it with Manners Maketh Man if, if you want to. Yeah, that's fine by me because that's, that's their mantra. Uh, Manners Maketh Man, final answer. That is incorrect. Mm. Okay. Incorrect. Going okay. to... Let's not forget multiple. Okay. Uh, hold that off for the final exam when they return. All right. So here is question number four. Here's question number four. Chris Rock plays a super spy and a super spy's identical twin brother in which 2002 oh. action comedy. What's this called? I know exactly what this is. Um, Chris Rock? Yeah. Uh, uh, let's go multiple. Yeah. Multiple choice. All right, here it is. Is it A, collateral damage, B, bait, C, bad company, D, the recruit? Uh, it's bad company, bad company, Rachel, if you trust me. Yeah, it's, it's bad company. As soon as bad said, company, I saw the final recruiter. answer. Bad company for one point. That is correct. Bad company is correct. All right, so that is question number. That was question number four. Here's question number five. You guys mm. both have to answer this. Wait a second. 
Yeah. I was wondering why she was still here. But. <laughs> All right. Moral support. Okay. It was only four questions in. <laughs> well, I'm not. Question number five. Question number five. Who directed the Jack Ryan reboot? Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit. Oh, with Chris Pine. I want to go multiple on this because I yeah, let's go multiple. I'm not certain at all. Multiple yeah, multiple choice. All right. A. James Mangold. B. Philip Noyce. C. Kenneth Branagh. D. Doug Lyman. Kenneth Noyce sounds good because it doesn't seem like a Doug Lyman or, or a uh, Mangold. Mangold. Uh, yeah. So we'll go B. Uh, sorry, I forgot his name. B. Final answer. B. B. Philip Noyce. That is yeah. incorrect. <sighs> All right. So put we'll that. Mark that as a challenge for right. final exam to possibly take advantage of as we progress to the final question for final the question. Five. Here it is. Final question. All right. In what comedic film does Sasha Baron Cohen play the underachieving brother of a British spy? Oh, dang it. <sighs> What's this called? Oh. <sighs> it's with Mark Strong. Um, yeah. Let's go multiple. Multiple? All right. Here it is. Yeah, multiple. Yeah. Sorry, I was using the whole clock. All right. A, the spy. B, the brothers Grimsby. C, gotcha. D, the man who knew too little. B, the Brothers final. Grimsby, final, final answer. Yes, that is correct for one more point. All right, so that is... Not bad, not bad. So the Pride missed uh, two questions here, two questions, one on multiple choice and one straight up. All right, so then at the end there, we have 21-14, now Pride up by seven points. All right, guys, we're going to drop you out here. going to drop you out, and you guys can watch the spin of um, Final oh, Jam. Yeah. And then you'll be dropped out. All right. So now we're going to bring back, we'll bring Winston in, and we're just going to wait for final exam. Winston, the you saw again, like I said, you can't have any contact with your team, but 21 14, seven points here. So, so, so I would like to I would like to make a request. I know it was a mistake, but just to keep things all even, drop me for you can drop after the fourth, after the fourth. After well, I, was gonna, I was gonna say drop me for the steals, because you have to do the steals oh, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah. And then, and then, I, then let me come in for four questions, and I'll go away. That's fair. Um, all right. So now we're bringing back Paul Oyama. And we're bringing – oh, he's not here yet. So we're waiting for Lon as soon as Lon – Oh, no. Back. Christian, this could be hours. It's true. It's true. <laughs> he, might, he might have fallen asleep and taken a nap. Were you he still just, talking to him? I don't know how to do it. Does Winston just team up with Paul at this point? I, I don't know. I mean, I already heard him, so nah. But yeah, – Look, I will say this. I'll say seven yeah. points is a very interesting – I don't know lead. why it's doing this. Hang what on. <laughs> I don't I, – it's <laughs> – Young man, uh, please, all right. I'm gonna please. get. Give me, give me two seconds. I'm gonna get Drew in here to fix it. <sighs> she won't. It's just putting smut on our beloved show. Welcome back, everybody. It's a anyway. mouth. That's not smut. I, I have a mouth. You have a mouth. So they got seven points. How many they questions got, did they get well, right? I can't say anything. Until okay. Okay. It's okay. My bad. Sorry about that. All right. So. Yeah. What we can say is that, no, a mouth is not smut, but it looked like a mouth that was into no good, if you catch my drift. So, Christian, as we wait for Juan to make an appearance as a recap to all the fans watching, returning or new fans, is that there's some challenges that need to be settled before we move on to not finally getting their spin at the wheel. Two questions lurk. Yeah, not not challenges, just two, two, two misses. Two I call them challenges because yeah. they're tough questions. Yes, yeah, two opportunities to steal here. Coming in to uh, the match once we get Lon in here. Lon has definitely stuck to, uh, has been on brand in this match. There's no doubt about it. Missing, missing full questions and cameras breaking. And Yeah, well, you know what? When your background is uh, the set of The Witch from up New Hampshire way, it, you're bound to lose the <laughs> internet from time to time. So we're just waiting on Lon at the moment. But we can say, again, if we can throw the, we can throw the standings up in the meantime while we wait for Lon. That would be uh, something to show. Once again, the Finstock Exchange with 29 points and swag and corruption right behind. All right, Lon Harris is back in the room. All right, so. What Wait, this keeps, this is still going on? Still going on, Lon. All right, look. Oh, you're, you're gonna what have, a bummer. I'm going to drop Winston out for the first, uh, for the steal opportunities here. He is going to be allowed to be in the room for the first four because we did that with Kate on the accident, but we're going to make it fair and let him be there with it for the first four. All right, so. Guys, there were two steal opportunities. Okay, so here is the first. Here is the first. 
Can we can we get the category? I'm gonna give you the category. It's spy. They're all spy. It's spy. Got it. Got it. And the first one is without multiple choice, and I will give you the answer of what they what they chose. Here it is. In Kingsman, the Secret Service, what is the mantra of the Kingsman that Eggsy recites during his phone call to be released from the local authorities? They chose, they chose manners maketh men. Manners maketh man, Lon, I believe. Yes. Manners maketh are, man, no, final they, one. They, they said manners maketh man. They said, that's what they said, manners maketh man. Oh, but, you said man. I'm ma sorry. Manners maketh the man? Could it be that, no. Paul? Manners maketh men, final answer. It's incorrect. The answer was Oxford's, not Bruges. Brogues, Oxford's, that's right. Not Oxford, Brogues. not Brogues. Not yeah. Brogues. So, and Rachel can do this all day long. That's exactly what they said. So, uh, next one is who directed the Jack Ryan reboot, Jack Ryan Shadow Recruit? Multiple choice was A, James Mangold, B, Philip Noyce, C, Kenneth Branagh, D, Doug Lyman. They chose B, Philip Noyce. It's Kenneth Branagh. I believe it's Lon. Kenneth Branagh, yeah. yeah. Final answer, Kenneth Branagh. All right, it's a one-point steal. So one-point steal. Okay, so they got a one-point steal there, and now we uh, have the score. Uh, excuse me. 21 to 15 now, mm -hmm. so it's a six-point advantage for the Pride, and anything can happen with this kind of wheel, Christian. You get six questions, so they could have a big lead going into round three. They could still be trailing. It's all possible in the Schmodown. Uh, that is correct. So now we have – now we are going to get to the, the wheel up on the, on the board. Do I get to talk to him first? You do for 60 seconds starting now. What cool. do you want? I mean, first of all, I want to make sure that, you know, whatever serial killer that you are doing this outside of his house, that he's letting you stay on the Wi-Fi. You good? Yeah, no, we're, we're, we're fine. I just wandered off. I assume the, the, the thing was over. That's fine. Uh, real talk, you what? You still have uh, all of your JTEs. Yeah. Uh, your challenge. They had to use Who's the that? JTEs in there. So just, you know, that I'll be in here for the first four questions just for encouragement. But I, I, I'm not obviously not going to say anything. But there was a technical snafu. Other than that, we trained for all this. Y'all do your thing. Yep. I didn't right. train for any of this, for the record. Well, here is here is the spin, and it's up. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Jody Foster. No? Not Meryl Streep? No? I would do anything to impress her, man. Don Carpenter. There it is. Mm. Lon, you did Ma pretty right good when you got it the one time. I think we should keep it. Yeah, we can stick with John Carpenter. That's cool. Y'all sure you feel good about that? Yeah, we'll keep it. I feel right. pretty good about him, yeah. All right, I trust you. All right, so Winston, again, you'll be allowed to – I mean, don't get – I mean, Kate had made a couple of uh, – I might say something like, don't forget multiple choice, and you have JTEs. That's very much all. Right. I, I got us. I got us. All right, so we are now going to get Mark. This is going to be uh, John Carpenter. Six questions. Here we go. Yes, it is. Remember, gentlemen, you may confer with your teammate for each and every question. Two points per question. If you need multiple choice, value goes to one. Here's your first question in the world of John Carpenter. Hold on one second. Are we good? I'm just Wait, the, is no. the other team out, by the way, just to make sure? They're, they're out. Okay. okay. Cool. Uh, yeah, and Kate, Kate, you make sure your hands are up, Kate, while you're watching. Please, thank you. All right. Good to go. All right, here we go, Mark. Uh, four questions, Six questions in the realm of, t of John Carpenter. Six questions in the world of John Carpenter. Your first one. What John Carpenter film has the characters named Egg Shen, Wang Chi, and Eddie Lee? Big Trouble in Little so, China, right? Big Trouble, yes, trouble right. in Little China, final answer. Two points. That's two points. All right, next question. All right, gentlemen. Get even closer to the Pride's lead. Bruce Campbell has a bit part as the Surgeon General of Beverly Hills. In what John Carpenter film? Escape this is from Escape LA. from L.A. Yeah, Escape from L.A. Final answer. I appreciate the stick to details, and you are correct for two more points. All right, gentlemen, you're doing great. All right, here's the next question. All right, fellas, trying to pull even with the pride. Your question: What was the first film John Carpenter directed? It's Dark Star, Long. You you got it. Dark Star. Final answer. Two more points. Oh, my goodness. You're a star, both of you. Yeah. A, con a, a condor is a type of bird. 
Was that was that that was question that was question three? Question three. Thankfully, we only have one more question before we say goodbye to Winston Marshall, Chicago accent, hopefully forever. Yeah. <laughs> Your question for two points. In the thing, the main characters first see the alien parasite manifest itself in what area of the research compound? It's in the dog kennels, is it? Yeah, I was going to say the kennels. Yeah, you got it. The dog kennels, final answer. Christian, final exam is on top. That's two more points. That's amazing. Christian didn't know that because he still hasn't watched the thing. Okay, he's gone now. So now we have... Uh, now we have Good, Finally. It was a good walk-off comment, though. It really was. <laughs> 23, 23, 21, as we now get to question number five, Mark. Question number five, gentlemen, in the world of John Carpenter and his many movies. Which famous rock star plays a homeless man who becomes possessed in Prince of Darkness? Alice it's Cooper. Alice Cooper, Alice okay, Cooper final it. answer. That's right. His birth name was Vince Wharton, but he goes by Alice Cooper, and that is who is credited in the movie. So that's two more points. All right. So this is the sixth and final question for final exam, who are just running away with Carpenter. 25-21 so far. Here's the last question, Mark. Twas a good decision seemingly to stick with Mr. Carpenter's work. Saw him live in concert. It was terrific. Your last question for two points. Me too. I also saw that. Name the two lead actors in 1995's Village of the Damned. That's Christopher uh, Reeve. Christopher Reeve and Kirstie Alley. Kirstie Alley. Alley. Yeah. Yep. Christopher Reeve and Kirstie Alley. Final answer. Christian, they demolished this category. That's two more points. Wow, what a round it was. All right, we can bring back. It is now a total of 27-21. 27-21, as we know, it now bring back the pride. But that was a hell of a round there by Mulan. Mulan. Goodness. Mulan. My, my goodness. I am so proud of both of you. I mean, and, and if you don't like this, I can go Black Mama if you prefer that. I can go straight Black Mama if that's what you want, uh, Mr. Ellis. No, we're gonna, I, let's, let's would, wait for both teams I would find here. that exciting. I would think that's very that that'd be exciting for me. <laughs> and now we're waiting for Ben Goddard to return. Uh, is it, is anyone the, else reading his name as Ion? No, mm -hmm. just me. Okay, check in. Yeah, no, that's that's my birth name. Ion is for short. All right. Uh, so after round number two, the final exam going perfect in round number two and John Carpenter and the score is now 27 21 going into round number three Mark how does it go round number three this is the round that will determine the match unless we go to sudden death overtime don't worry fans we're prepared in round number three we need a series of numbers from each squad we need three numbers from each team those numbers can range from 1 to 20 they may not be the same numbers as the opposing team each number corresponds to a unique category of movie trivia schmodown know-how. First question is worth two points. Next one's worth three points. The final one, should we make it that far, is worth five big points. Here's the rub. Because this is the team division, then the two-pointer category is going to be heard by the team. And then the team will have to select which member is going to answer that question solo. You may not rely on the strength of your teammate for the two-pointer or the three-pointer, which will be answered by the opposite teammates. You may only confer with your team member for the final five-point question. So, Christian, the Pride had a nice lead going, and then final exam, late though one of their teammates may be, showed up and dominated the John Carpenter category. So final exam, you get the privilege of selecting your three lucky numbers first. From 1 to 20, what feels fortunate? Uh, I'm going to go 4, 7, and 15. 4, 7, and 15 for final exam and for the Pride? Uh, 3, 14, and 11. 3, 14, <laughs> and 11. All right. With the score at the moment being 27 to 21. So let us now, let us now give 60 seconds to Winston, who will talk to final exam starting now. Uh, I mean, very simple. You have three JTEs. We didn't, we didn't need to use them. We have our challenge. Uh, yep. so keep calm, keep cool, keep collected. Lon, if you see a bear, just holler. Uh, not collective, then, right? Collective, then, not collective. Oh, that's about if, if I see I a bear. In there. <laughs> yeah, no, collective, of course. No, 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 I wouldn't fall for that. But uh, I, think we're, uh, yeah. I think we're good. 
Yeah, we should don't take this lead for granted, guys. No, you no, can't. No, 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 no. I don't think anything don't, for granted. Don't, don't, don't talk. Don't Nobody was talking to you, sir. Dude, I know you're a bandit, but stop stealing things. Hey, okay? listen, listen. Don't give him the time. Don't no, no, no. It's all good. good. I just want to give him a little jab in. If he wants to talk during my time, I'm just going to be like, shut your mouth. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. be quiet. Shut your mouth. All right, yeah, we're good. Perfect. What's that? 20 seconds left. Oh, that's really mean. I'm not going to tell him. 20 that. seconds? Oh, no, tell me. Well, wait, tell me Tell me what the doll said. No, she, she's talking a little smack right now. You ten, guys don't need to. 10 seconds. Okay. Uh, other than that. Wait, what? Swag, swag. swag <laughs> yeah, we're coming for them chips. There, there you go. Ten, that's 10 right, seconds. Kate, right? 60 yeah. seconds, Kate, starting now. Okay, you guys are doing great. I know this feels like a really big lead, but guess what? It's beatable. Okay, we can come back. This is This is where we like to be. We like to be coming up from behind you know this is where we this is where we really get the slam dunk which is where we really say you guys underestimated us you guys had an awesome first round went into that le leading so let's 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 how we feeling guys how we feeling good feel great all right i'm also really glad you spun away from jar and carpenter i didn't know a single one of those oh my god i don't know anything all right, all right. we're gonna drop this time we're actually gonna drop winston and kate out and now because the Pride is going to try to avoid the uh, TKO here. They are mm -hmm. going to start with the two-pointer. The two-pointer comes in category three is what you chose. And that is in the realm of the 80s movies. Who's going to take 80s? Uh, what are you feeling? I'm good with 80s. Okay, go ahead. I feel like I, could do, I, feel like I can be a good. Yeah, I'll take it. All right, here you go, Rachel. Two-pointer. Sylvester Stallone and Kurt Russell play partners on the police force in what film? Tango and Cash, final answer. That's right. Two points. So 27, 23, as we now get to Ben Goddard. Mm -hmm. And you chose category 14, okay. and that's Oscar films. Oscars. Okay. For your Oscars, three. Here it is. Which actor received Best Actor nominations for the classic films Harvey and Anatomy of a Murder? Hmm. Five, four. Repeat. Last one. Last one. All right. Which actor received Best Actor nominations for the classic films Harvey and Anatomy of a Murder? Uh, five Robert Mitchum looking for James Stewart James Stewart all right so here that was my first guess here's Damn where we stand Damn five, it. five point right now five Damn point it. if they get it then they'll be up by one however if they miss it then we will have a TKO victory and three points for swag five pointer was rom-coms Rom-coms was the five-pointer, and here is the question. All right. Who plays Nelson Fox, Tom Hanks' father, in the film You've Got Mail? Oh. Okay. Uh, he's from uh, the Hotel Heist movie. Oh, God. What's his name? Uh, he's from M.A.S.H., I know he's got a magnificent Five, mustache. Four, three, <sighs> two. Donald Blake, Donald, and your <laughs> name. Good By job. By way of technical knowledge, couldn't knock. think of his name. Paul Oyama, Lon Harris, final yeah. exam. Oh, wait, we won. Looking for Dabney Coleman. Dabney Coleman, Dabney Coleman, Dabney Coleman, yeah. Coleman is the yeah. end. All right, we're going to drop out the prize <laughs> at the moment. What a beginning. I think I, I think I figured it out from their – I didn't know the answer, but I think I figured it out from their clues to one another. I was like, I just, it sounds like they're describing Dabney Coleman. Well, they did it. Winston, you start out the night. That's a big three points. That is a big three points to start out. It looked like they were in trouble there. Lon had messed up a little bit in the first round, but they recovered. Second round, how you feeling right now? I mean, I won't lie. I, I was feeling when Lon missed the Mulan thing, considering everything that's going on with Mulan in the world right now. I was like, oh, sweet Jesus, this is it. This is this is where This is where our story ends on one question. I know that sounds silly, but then I – 
watch them to get John Carpenter and I watch them do what they do. And that's administer this test over and over and over and over again to the other teams in the Schmodown. And I can't be any prouder of these guys. Like, honestly, even Lon, as much as he drives me up the wall, I could not be any prouder of what the two of them have done together. And I can't wait to see because the sky's the limit. Not, like, they can literally go on forever at this rate. So I'm very excited. I, 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 what an amazing way to start the night out. Well, Swag now tied with Corruption at 27 points. Look at that. There you have Swag, 27 with this massive win here by uh, final exam. 3-0. Paul, I got to ask you here. This is, uh, this is a big victory as you are now 3-0. Did you at all, because you played perfect in that first round, and, you know, Lon obviously had that little misstep, but did, you, did that bother you at all, or did you say, nope, we're going to pick this right back up and, and, you know, do exactly what you did? No, all you could do is take it round by round and focus on the next thing. If you worry too much about what we could have done, what we should have done, blah, 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 blah. It, you know, you, you're going to end up in an unfortunate position, and it's kind of crazy. This is the second time I've went 3-0 in a league based on my opponent missing a five-pointer that involves Dabney Coleman. Um, wow. So, yeah, how That's fortunate. <laughs> that's honestly, that's the thing that scares, that should scare everybody about Paul. I don't know what it is. Paul has that LeBron James lockbox doesn't forget a single thing. I don't it's know how terrifying. he remembers that. Yeah. Uh, Logan Dagger, Chance Ellison. Yeah. We should it's put Dabney thrilling. Coleman on the Just, wheel next time. Yeah. Put Dabney Coleman on the wheel. Lon, yeah. let, me, let me ask you. I mean, you had your struggles when you were, uh, were a prominent professor. Uh, oh, yes. And you know, you, you had some runs in the in the team's tournament, but they, yeah. you seem to be playing at a different level here. Uh, how are you feeling, even though, you know, how are you feeling right now? I, I'm just wondering when is my reflection going to show the man I'm meant to be, honestly. <laughs> Hold it. Hold it. All right. It's a Mulan reference. It's a Mulan reference. I know. Reference. That was so good. Oh, he still got jokes. Okay. Mark, yeah, I mean, look. Paul, congratulations. Lon and the real girl. I enjoyed your movie. Uh, let's <laughs> talk you. to Winston because, Winston, what do you and your team, final <laughs> exam, want to say the world is watching to every other team out there in the Schmodown? What is the message that this win sends to them? Swag, swag, drip, drip. Yeah, we're coming for them chips. Nice. All right. So we're going to congratulate both Winston Marshall, final exam. Winston, you're not done. We'll see you in just a moment here as you prep for the main event. But that's the final score, 27-23 TKO victory by final exam. Swag goes up three more points and final exam. We'll see. I will actually have to ask. Uh, I do want to ask Paul one more question here, Paul. You are going to be playing now against Shazam next week on the undercard of Dan Merle versus Ethan Irwin. So this is, is I mean, I'm sure that this has got to be something you're looking forward to, to try to get at uh, William Bibiani here. And the kid. Yeah, uh, I would have liked to have been playing in the headlining match. Obviously, things didn't work out in that in that regard. But I'm super stoked. Brendan's one of my good friends in this league. Vince is an amazing player. Um, but we'll come to play, and hopefully, we give a great match. I think it's going to be really exciting. And who knows? You know, we won here. We won last time. Who knows what happens in the future? But I'm excited. Yeah, well, I can't wait guys. to see you guys right back here one year from today no, for no, our no, next no, match. No, That's no, so no, next Lon. Friday, Lon. One next week. Friday. Next Friday. Seven, seven oh. days. Yeah, we'll see you then. All right. So thank soon. you. Oh my God. All right, so we're going to drop out. You guys, if, you, if, if if Final Exam could drop out, because we are going to try to let in the main event com, uh, competitors in just a moment here, but I do want to bring back the Pride and their manager, Kate Mulligan. Oop. All right, so wanna, let's start here. I want to I want to start with uh, with Rachel Silverstrini. Rachel, you uh, – look, this was a game – you guys in the first round playing really, really tough, had the, the lead going into round number two. And then you know it it lands on spy movies, and you guys just got stumped a little bit. But did you think that did you think you had it going into that second round? Yeah, I, I thought that you know we we had a great start. We played just like we normally do when we practice together. Um, and then going into round two, it was you know the wheel was pretty decent for pretty decently balanced that I was excited for. Um, but yeah, I mean, spy movies are just kind of a thing that, you know, you, you kind of remember in the back of your brain. It's not really something that, you know, crosses over into a lot of other categories. So studying those are really interesting. But I think we did really well. And I mean, I know that someone's going to find a, an incredibly 
bad error in what I did, but I don't care. I think we did great. And I, I we're still two and one, which is better than what two thirds of the other teams in the league. So I don't care. We did great. Yeah, I'm proud of me and Ben. To, to both Rachel and Ben and by their manager as well. Ben, I'm going to ask you this. There were some questions about whether your team could have virtual chemistry just because you haven't played together that long. Mm -hmm. My feeling is that if this was a five round match, that it could have seesawed back and forth and y'all could have been the last one standing if you just had more time to get more questions correct. What do you as a team need to do to get to that five round match, to get to that championship level? What is the one thing that the pride needs to work on, just needs to tighten up a little bit? It's getting those tip of the tongue answers, you know, bad company brothers Grimsby. They were right there. They were right there. And, you know, we had to check down to multiple choice. That's an extra two points off the board. I was real happy with how we played with spy movies. I honestly had no idea. Kenneth Branagh directed that. That was a total blank spot. I know Doug Lyman. I know uh, James Mangold and I thought I knew uh, Kenneth Branagh, but I guess I missed that one. And then, you know, Again, final exam gets, uh, and I'm not like, this is no shade to Paul and Lon. They played so good. And even when you get a strength, you still got to answer the right questions. But and they did. They went 12 for 12. And you don't, you got to play for that, but you still don't expect it. Uh, so, you know, they got a strength again, you know, just like last week. Uh, and so good for them. They played a hell of a game. I should have gotten my three-pointer. That's the first, uh, you know, I missed two round three questions. I've never missed one before. So that that sucked. I didn't I didn't play as well as I could have. I should have gotten those tip of the tongue bad company. Uh, Rachel played a hell of a game, uh, and I, I wish I could have played better. You did well, great. It was great, Kate. I got to ask you though. You know, this is uh, the the pride right now. You're gonna have a decision, obviously, to make. You got the pride who's gonna be eligible for the tournament. You have yep. Tom and Paul who's gonna be eligible for the tournament. Uh, yep. Any decisions made thus far? Or are you still uh, yep. got got to wait and and see? No, I made a decision. Oh. You want to know? What, do you want to tell us what it is? No. Oh. <laughs> what you, you think I'm some sort of rube? No, no, no. You're not going to find out. It's all locked away up here. Unless Christian tell me in the private chat if I'm supposed to. No, no you do whatever you want okay, to do. No, 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 no. All right, okay. fair enough. All right, do you have any any words you yeah, want to? Yeah, listen. I feel like there's. I feel like there's a bunch of takeaways from this. Listen, did we get the points? No. Did we win? No. But I'll tell you what. I feel like this solidifies a bunch of things I've been saying. Rachel Silvestrini deserves to be here. Somebody find a hole in that play today. No, there wasn't one. There was. A, she missed a question in round one. Come on, she came back. Okay, like this is this is so. Rachel Silvestrini deserves to be here. Take that to the bank, cash that check, send me the the the, the receipt of it. Okay, and then also, you know, Ben deserves to be rookie of the year. He played a hell of a match today. Listen, they okay. Well, you can be upset about it if you want, but I, for me, I'm a new manager. We got a new team here, and we out of nowhere you know, took the league by storm. Listen, this is an incredible team. Final exam. You know what I'm saying? Like I, you're, you're saying like, Oh, you didn't win against uh, Michael Jordan. Yeah. I feel great about it. You know, like I, I think they did as well as we could have spy move. Listen, I got to tell you, these, these questions seem so hard to me, but uh, then again, I only know the movie Goonies. Fair enough. Well, look, the singles tournament is right around the corner. The den obviously has some representation. Rachel Silvestrini will be in that turn tournament. There it is starting August 10th. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Schmodown channel, the play in matches begin on this week, coming up this week. So make sure you check it out Four matches a week starting on August 10th. So please go and check that out. All right. Well, I want to thank Kate. And Rachel and Ben, hell of a match here, and we'll see you uh, very, very soon. Now, drop it out here, and Mark, look, there's a there's a very special guest in the. Uh, there are tons of Schmodown, uh, the Schmodown superstars are in the chat right now, and talk about this guy, the champion going up next week against Ethan Irwin, and he's in there right now, and this is what he says: "Great undercard, champ to champ. I'm really excited for the main event, and how can you not be? The main event is coming up." In just a moment, we're going to take a quick break. But when we get back, the first title match in the digital format, Kevin, the Smasher Smets, the reigning inner geekdom champion, puts his title on the line against Chandru, the chosen Don Dapani in just a moment. So we are going to take a little break here. Get your sodas, get the popcorn, get it all ready, and tell us in the chat room right now, Who's going to win? Let's highlight them, and we'll see you in just a moment.
So, Andrew, I'll give you Bateman one-on-one on an undercard. 
of a very, very big match that I have just signed. One of the biggest cards in movie trivia schmodown history. Andrew Guy versus Ben the Boss Bateman. It would be incredible to get Andrew Guy's best game against Ben Bateman's best game in an Action Army sequel. Chris Jericho takes on Kevin Smith. Chris Jericho wants to play. The Ayatollah of rock and roller. I'm not messing around. Look out, movie trivia, schmo down. But I can compete. Like, I, I love that shit. I'm ready to schmo down. Throw down with a schmo down. Who will win? Join us. Subscribe now. YouTube.com slash the schmodown. All right, movie time. Christian, we've watched a lot of movies. We've had a lot of we fun. Are, and now yeah. it is the main event, the Inner Geekdom Championship. Five rounds of cinematic nerdificent combat is upon us. I am excited for it. And how could you not get excited watching the Kevin Smith and Jericho promo, knowing that that is right down the pike here look look one of the things to make an announcement here for everybody is that it's going to jump one day it was originally supposed to be on august 27th it is going to be on august 28th august 28th chris jericho and kevin smith is at august 28th and don't forget about guy versus bateman to the double main event guy and bateman number one contender the winner will play the winner of merle and Irwin and jericho versus smith i mean come on this is going to be phenomenal. I cannot wait to see this as a fan in general. But you talk about being a fan. This next match coming up here, this main event, I mean, are you kidding me? This is going to be uh, Kevin Smets and Chandru. And as we mentioned with both Smets and Chandru, they don't like each other. They have been, I mean, Chandru pretends that he does, but you can tell. Chandru is not, not a big fan. Uh, of Smets says, says that he's overrated, sings songs about him, dances about him, does all that stuff. And Smets has had enough of it. Kaiser's had enough of it. Winston's had enough of it. Winston and Kaiser were roasting each other on backstage the other day. It's been a full on war in who is going to be the top dog in the inner geekdom division. Kevin Smets is six and one with five knockouts. One of the most incredible performances. And he did that all in his rookie year. He hasn't played since Spectacular. He's been known for his unique studying habits. He's he's the Schmodown equivalent of a Mike Tyson or a Goldberg in wrestling. You know, he's he's got that allure to him. Chandru has been coming on, but he started out as like, oh yeah, he's he can be okay. And then you start to see what he does, and you see his energy for it, and you see his cockiness. His cockiness, when people are saying, Oh, he's a villain, he very well might be, but his cockiness has helped him tremendously. It has given him confidence to do exactly what he's done in his last couple of performances. It has been his Captain America shield, Christian. I mean, look, Kevin and Chandra, those sound like they should be schoolyard chum names. You take Smets, Don DePonte, they should be on the same dodgeball team in gym class. But then when you give me the smasher and the chosen, that means there's going to be a tete-a-tete -tete for the ages. And maybe, as you alluded to, it does come down to not who knows more about inner geekdom categories. These guys all know virtually any question we could possibly ask. It might come down to who can get inside their opponent's head a little more. I think that Kevin might be inside Don Dapani a little bit, and I think that Don Dapani might be inside Smets in between the ears a little bit. So who's going to get deeper into that hypothalamus region? I was pre-med. Yeah, I mean, I don't know, man. It's it's like uh, it really depends on the fight, right? And, and it's especially it is this speed round that it's going to come down to because neither one of them has well, Changer's never been in a five round fight, and Smets has been in one. But Smets was in a speed round with a buzzer. So maybe he doesn't know. Is this going to benefit him or is this going to hurt him? Is this going to serve Chandru better? We don't know. We're not sure. But we do know that Swag is counting on this tremendously as far as the points go. Because now this is a four round. This is a four point, four point battle. If there's no knockout, it's five. If there's a knockout in it now, whether or not Chandru can knock out Kevin Smets is another scenario, but anything can happen. Who the hell would have thought Kevin Smets was going to knock out Mike Kalinowski to take the title back in December? So anything can happen in the inner geekdom division, Mark. I am pretty, pretty excited to see it because the great nerd chronic, as always, has put together an epic promo. 
Here it is. Chef's kiss. Every second since April, for 10 months, I have been thinking about coming back here to show you that you made a mistake. And now I'm going to do what I came here to do, which is beat every single person from the bottom up. When I'm done, when all of the bodies are down and I'm standing in the ashes, then, Harloff, you'll remember my name, and I'll take that title. And you'll remember Kevin Smets, the one you sent away, who came back and took everything. My inner geek to pick for the one to watch right now yeah. is Kevin Smets. Christian Harloff should thank me and thank Kevin Smets for coming on this show. We probably got 50,000 new subscribers the minute we walked out here. Dwallin, give me Kalinowski. Wow! Why don't we get somebody out there who can give this kid a challenge? Kalinowski beats Smets! Kalinowski beats Smets! I flubbed a name. Get your dancing shoes out, because that asterisk's coming back to kick your ass. Don't tell Peter this, don't tell Peter that. Well, don't tell Peter I just became the IG Championship! Yeah! The fact that you came in here and made such a dominant debut here, I think that it's nothing to hang your head about. And we're actually really excited to see what you can do if you want to keep coming back. Thanks, Smasher. Uh, I can't wait to play you again. I'm so excited to play you. It's just... You're easily the best IG player in the division right now. And what will that make me when I take that championship away from you? And your winner, Chandra the Chosen! If I want to play in the bigger leagues, like to be in the top five, I need to be even better than what I played today, so... You and Brandon, there's a little bit of a rivalry there, because he's beaten you before. Buzz droids. And your winner, by way of technical knockout, Chandru, the chosen Don Dapani. You got lucky that the challenge went your way. You got lucky that I didn't have a manager that day. But now, I have the best manager in the league and a whole faction behind me. We have watched and listened from on top of the standings. If you don't believe that Chandru is ready for this, then I got some oceanfront property to sell you in Kansas. That's all I got to say. 24 hours. That's all you got left, Chandru. And then nobody's talking about you anymore. When the Smasher puts you to sleep, we're going to ride off into the sunset like we always do with the belts on our shoulders. This guy smiles and he dances, but he is not a good guy. This guy is a villain. I know who you really are. You're a wolf in sheep's clothing, and I'm going to expose you. But make sure you don't hurt your cutesy little foot when it hits my belt that I'm gonna take from you. Your run's up, man. Your long path to the title, beating Hannah, losing to me, it's gonna all end this Friday. There's no Cinderella story for you. Swag's getting sent home. Count on that. I want you so angry. I want you at your absolute hulkiest so that when we do win, there's no argument about this. I don't know if you saw what happened to the last guy they made a big deal out of. He got knocked out, and Smasher took his belt. The title is mine. The belt you so dearly put in the background of every live stream you go on will be mine. It's not going to be a walk in the park. It's going to be one of those challenges. But the thing is, the Smasher's going to come out on top. Wakanda forever. Listen, I'm done with this interview. I just got one last thing to say to you. Smets, smash. I'm, I mean, you come know, on. that's yeah. pretty great stuff. How do you not get hyped up for that one? The championship match, five rounds for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Swag versus the Dungeon. You can say what you want about the Dungeon. You can say they're having kind of a struggle this year overall, but you know how much Kaiser loves the championship. He loves managing the champion. He loves training the champion. He won two championships last year, the singles and the Inner Geekdom, and he still got that Inner Geekdom. 
trying to hold on to it today. So the Dungeon and Swag, they've been going at it. They've been roasting each other. It has been a battle on every program they've been on, and I'm sure it's going to be the same here. We bring on the manager of now, tied for second place team, Swag, Winston Marshall, once again. Holy G. Willigers, it's Commissioner Harloff and Detective Junior. Uh Uh-oh. And the manager of the Dungeon, Kaiser. This is a big big match kaiser we start with you here the champ has not been in the battlefield since december some people say it could be ring rust how is the smasher doing well the Smasher's just fine the Smasher's always fine okay you gotta understand something i realize that swag is popular with a certain subset of the schmodown community you know, the kind of people who leave their house with a white sock on their left foot and a brown sock on their right foot. A dicky-do, basically. You see what I mean? A dicky-do, basically. That's who Winston appeals to. Now, the fans out there that have some class, the fans out there that have some honor, well, they'll be pulling for the dungeon today. And I don't think Kevin Smets wants to let his dungeon heads down. You see, we all know something. We all know something. When Kevin Smets gets angry, he don't miss a stinking question. So where does that leave you, Chandru, the chosen chump? It means you've basically signed your death certificate. So hopefully, RB3 will come to your funeral, maybe say something nice about you. Drip, drip to that. One last thing. Now you got me thinking. Drip, drip. Drip, drip. You know, I'm not intimidated by a guy who stole his slogan from a diaper ad. But it actually kind of adds up because everybody in that faction is a crybaby, including Lon. Well, I'm homeless. Oh, but woo is me. Why don't you get over yourselves and get some class? All right. Uh, impressive camera tricks from Kaiser. And uh, Winston, uh, because you scared the dog, you're going to have to answer my question. Now, look, you say you want about Kaiser, okay? But when it comes to you managing Chandru versus Kevin the Smasher Smets, Smets has loads of live combat experience in the realm of the Schmodown, Chandra just simply can't match that. So how is he going to stand up for five rounds in front of a international audience? Holy gee willikers. I didn't know you were going to let Clayface talk that long. My goodness. Well, here's the thing. Here over at Swag, we get trained by the best. If you didn't know, Batman is the best. He wins everything. He, it doesn't matter who he's up against, even Superman. All you have to do is say Martha, and that's it. All of a sudden, everything shuts down. So here's the thing. I'm not worried about, I guess, the Smasher. Is that Sullivan Grundy? I'm not worried about that at all because Batman's going to do what he does best, and that's win. Oh, and by the way, dungeons, do you understand that we rescue people from dungeons all the time? You know what I'm really looking forward to is that when this is over, you stay in your basement for the rest of the season. Now, listen here, uh, Jerry Seinfraud. You're about one joke away. You're one joke away from ringing a bell and wearing a Santa costume. And I'm just giving you that advice because you actually have talent. I don't want to see you go down the wrong road. Hey, well, first of all, I'll have abs before you do, Clayface, so don't worry about that. I'm working hard. And the other thing is, did you steal that painting from within that casino? Because I'll come up there and stop you. All right, look, let me let me ask you. I know I know you you both like to mess with each other. I I understand it. Um Winston, if I can get Winston for a second, maybe I can't. But uh, but Winston, I got to ask you about what? swag. What do, what do you want? Uh, about you swag want? here. I'm doing character work. Jesus. I, Jesus it, 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 <laughs> Chandru. Give me give me Ch- what what is going on here with Chandru? How is he feeling? Cuz I know he's you guys have been messing with Kaiser. I know you've been messing with Smets, but is he really is he prepared? Is there any intimidation going into it or he he's legit. He he knows he can beat Smets. Christian, can I ask you a question? Sure. What is it that I said to you when you asked me who I was putting in the Star Wars tournament? You you told me Ace. You said he's and been- what and you asked me what? I said I said are you sure? And what did I say? You said, I'm sure he's going to win it. And so let that be the answer to what's going on here. Yes, Chandru is ready. Fair enough. All business, all of a sudden. I like it. And Kaiser, how do you feel how do you feel about Smets? And like I said, he's been out of the ring for a little bit. Is he ready? Yeah, I think the Smasher's ready. He's ready to defend that title. He's been thinking about this since draft day back in January. He's been wanting to defend this title. He was supposed to defend it in January. He's supposed to defend it in February. 
you know, this kid's been, has been ready since the season started. Now he gets to finally prove something. And what's going to happen is this. When Chandru chokes at the end of this match, change your name to gag. Okay, Winston? That's probably going to be more appropriate. All right. Wow, well, you're really dirty. You really must live in a dungeon. All right. Now we're going to drop out both Kaiser and Winston. And, Mark, we are very, very close here as we get to oh, better. Thank goodness. Christian, I really don't think that's character work. I, I think Winston has turned over a new leaf, and uh, I don't know who lives the closest to him, but we should send a runner to go check on that poor guy. Yeah, he, he's doing it to piss off Kaiser, and I think that he did it. Uh, all right, Mark, I'm ready. You? Oh, five rounds, folks. Buckle your seatbelts, put up your table trays, because it's about to get hot. Christian, when this baby hits 88 miles an hour, you're going to see some serious, I can't say that, have at it, sir. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the movie trivia schmodown. Five rounds for the Inner Geekdom Championship of the World. Introducing first the challenger with a record of four wins. Two defeats and three knockouts. Representing Swag. He is Chandru the Chosen Dadapane! Got swag and we drip. There he is, the challenger doing exactly what we thought he would be doing. He's dancing up the storm. I don't know what he's doing. He looks like this. That is that looks like something out of uh eyes wide shut. So there he is, Chandru, the chosen, the challenger. Chandru, look, let me tell you, man. I, I've seen you, I've been watching what you're doing this week, watching your interviews, and I, I know how determined you are. How much do you tell me the honest opinion here? What is your thoughts on Kevin Smets? Okay, honest opinion. Right. Um, he is a really good player who's capitalized on every chance he's gotten. Like God knows he's gotten a lot of chances. And uh, yeah, he, he puts a lot of effort and uh, into all his preparation. So this is going to be a great fight. I'm excited. Uh between Winston and Chandra, I feel like I was just invited to one of Clay Shaw's early 60s parties. Uh, Chandra, let me ask you about the experience factor, because, yeah, you 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 love these movies you have since you were little and you study them. You know all the answers to virtually every question you could be asked. But there is that live experience element. Is there any hesitation in you that, hey, I'm taking on a guy who has run these boards a little bit more than I have? Yeah, he's definitely played more matches than I have. Like when it comes to regulation, IG, he has like one more uh, match experience than me. But and he's also like played a lot of exhibition matches too. So it, that definitely comes into the picture. But with the new speed round, like Christian said earlier, uh, the 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 play field, playing field has been leveled as much as possible. The, the championship advantage of like having that five round experience is kind of gone. So I'm I'm uh, I'm excited. So we'll see what happens. All right, you know, real quick before I bring in the champ here, I have to ask you, you know, you said on the preview special, you sang a song and you danced to it. You said that Kevin Smets is overrated. Do you believe that? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say anything that I don't believe in. It's uh, that's just not my style. Uh, like, like, I don't I don't say I don't I don't, I don't act like Kevin Smets and uh, say that he doesn't like me because I know he be, I know he doesn't believe that he really likes me. It's just that uh he just likes to pretend that he doesn't like me because that's that way that makes life easier for him but yeah overrated so the thing is um if kevin smets is touted as just this player who's had who's play who's been playing well he wouldn't be overrated but like he's touted as this god like creature that can never do any wrong when he's missed like what 12 questions that and most of those answers you cannot just read from study from a wikipedia page uh, so uh, I'd have to go in with the mentality that he is not as good as he thinks he is or like anyone who thinks he, anyone uh, thinks he is because he can't live up to the legend. Even Kevin Smith can't live up to the legend of the Smasher. 
All right. Well, there it is. Honest and raw thoughts. The challenger, Chandru the Chosen. All right. Good luck to you, Chandru. Going to put you in the waiting room here. And his opponent. Representing the dungeon with a record of six wins, one defeat, and five knockouts. He is the 2019 Inner Geekdom Player of the Year, 2019 Rookie of the Year, and the reigning defending undisputed movie trivia showdown in our kingdom champion of the world the smasher kevin smith the champion is here kevin smith Kevin, look, brother, you have not been in the Schmodown Arena since Spectacular. You're supposed to, in January, you're supposed to uh, face Chandru in April, and world happened. So how have you been preparing? Have you been studying? Have you been keeping up? Like, uh, how do you feel kind of with this being the first uh, big title match of your career? You know, uh, I've been looking forward to this. Since the morning of December 8th, I wanted to defend the title. Uh, we came in. We said we wanted to be fighting champions. Uh, I pitched to, uh, I pitched to Kaiser. I wanted to defend it once a month. Like, how great would that be? You know, then even in the tournament, I was like, I texted you, Christian. I said, can I be in the tournament? And you're like, you're a champion. You can't do it. So, uh, listen, man, I've been looking forward to it. You know, I got a couple drills in uh, with some legends when I did the champion of champions match. So, if I'm going to mix it up with anybody doing it with the likes of Roca and Dan Merle and, you know, the, the Star Wars champion of the world too, uh, you know, that was a way to go. But uh, as far as defending the title, I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Apparently, if you want to hear about my study, you can just ask, tw you can just ask Twinkle Toes because he keeps talking about it. So, all right, Kevin, I see that hoodie. I hope you use the baby carrots discount code when you purchase it at our merch store. I'm going to ask you a serious question, and it relates to what I was watching earlier today. That was the PGA Championship. It was golf, and you see all these golfers come in, and they have no family or life really encumbering them, and they just focus on golf. And then what do you know it? They get more professional opportunities, more personal opportunities, and golf takes a sidestep. You certainly have had an incredible life in the last year, a lot of great opportunities, both personally and professionally. But now that you're here in a five round championship match, is there any concern that maybe some of that life took away from your ability to study and prepare for this match and this opponent? Uh, that's always a concern, um, but it wasn't with me. Uh, she's been wonderful. She's been uh, uh, with there uh, by my side, helping me train, uh, understanding the amount of it takes, especially in these last like three weeks. Uh, and, you know, I can break the news here. I actually uh, followed the route of Rocky and I married her last weekend because I wanted to have her be my wife before our child comes. And uh, people could say distractions, but actually it cleared my head. It was everything that I needed. We did it out in the water in San Diego with my close friends and family. Um, and uh, going into this week, it was exactly what I need. I love her. She's been my tag team partner. And if she, she's a dungeon head through and through. And uh, yeah, so as far as distractions goes, I think if anything, she helps clear my head. She's always kind of calmed me down. Dosh has been amazing for me. And uh, I, I feel as prepped as I've ever been for any match, and that's today. Well, hey, you hear that? that was, that's great news. Congratulations. Yeah. It's great news. But I asked you, Champ, real quick, uh, yeah. before we start this matchup, Chandra, you, you just heard him and what he's been saying and what he has been saying on these shows to your face, you know, behind your back, all this stuff. Uh, you know, you've been on record saying you're not a fan of Chandra, and it, does that stay true today? And, and will that change after this match? I'm a fan. I'm not a fan of Chandru. I respect Chandru. I know he's very dangerous. He's, you know, he's followed a path similar to mine um, as far as, you know, taking a couple lumps and then getting back into it and getting better and better. And uh, so I've been prepping for a monster. I've been prepping basically to almost face myself. So uh, I, I respect him. He doesn't show any respect for me. That's fine. I don't need it. I have the belt to prove it. So 
Um, you know, I, I know I came into this league uh, frowny face and, you know, uh, talking a lot of smack and, and people can talk about how I conducted myself. But, you know, uh, when uh, Don't Tell Peter happened and everything at Collision, that kind of humbled me a little bit. And that in order for me to get where I needed to be, which was to win the title at Spectacular, I had to eat a little humble pie and realize that maybe that wasn't the exact way I wanted to go about things. And uh, we see where that led to me. So maybe Chander one day will kind of realize uh, the things he does, but I understand he has a chip on his shoulder. It's very similar to me. So I don't discount him. I respect him. I don't like him. All right. Fair enough. Well, the champion has been added and so is Chandru. The challenger is in doing his dance that we expected to see. And Mark, the championship is about to begin. Please read the rules for round number one. The rules of round number one. This is inner geekdom, gentlemen. So round number one is going to feel like your typical run-of-the-mill inner geekdom match. Ten questions will be asked to the field. Each question from a different corner of inner geekdom knowledge. Your first, your last, and every question in between is worth one point. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number one. Wink, wink. As soon as we ask the question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever utensil you prefer on whatever writing tablet you have handy. Once we ask you by name to reveal your attempt at an answer, please show what you wrote to your camera at the same time you verbalize your answer into the microphone. I'll remind each competitor of your three usages of the JTE rule throughout the duration of the match, named after the famous Shire bartender, JTE. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, use a JTE rule. You also each have one challenge to be used at any point throughout the five-round match. You as the competitor may initiate the challenge, and then we'll bring your manager in, and they must confirm and ratify for the challenge to, in fact, take place christian those are the rules of round number one and what a ceremony it was for kevin i was there on the beach watching with binoculars so real quick uh john kaiser has a question about the rules around number one yeah i just need to confirm something yeah managers can't say i don't know be in the chat room and no. be managed by their fans, right? The ma the managers are if if a manager is on a, a public, you cannot be on the public chat. If you are or caught on it with you or Winston, it, it will be a fine or for as far as the uh, you'll lose a point, and it'll yeah you cannot be on you cannot be on the pro uh, public chat. That, I'm, not so I'm not accusing nobody of nothing. I just know Frankie Numbers said that might be a thing with. Some. Well, Frankie never said a lot of stupid things, but uh, and he said, so that goes for you too. Stay out of that chat. No talking to video, Drew. Not talking to anybody. I got nothing to say except smash, smash. All right. Uh, I think uh, Frankie's a wonderful broadcaster. Hi, Frank. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we are going to now start this match. Are you ready? We start with the champion. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah, I'm very ready. I've missed this. I've missed the fans. Let's go. And I asked the challenger, are you ready? You want to get nuts? Come on. Let's get nuts. And let's get ready to schmodown. Round number one. Question number one in the category of the MCU. In Doctor Strange, what is the name of the device that allows a sorcerer to open up a dimensional gateway to another location? All right. Well, I'm already out. And Reiner, to the fans, please do not comment with your attempt at an answer right wrong joke you will be booted out five four three two one pens down please and kevin sling ring yes andrew sling ring correct one one as we start right as we thought we would mark question two we move on to the only category Christian and I have a shot in and that is Star Wars Galaxy far far away your question gentlemen what character in the Star Wars universe can be heard saying, I ran away with my life. I think that means something. That means something to me. All right. It's a good quote. I like that. Very good quote. And both, like both champion and challenger. And we have five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Chandra. A young Han Solo. Yes, Smets. Han Solo. <laughs> Correct. Two, two. Question number three, Middle Earth, the Middle Earth. In which Middle Earth film will you hear the following quote? The horn of Helm Hammerhead shall sound in the deep one last time. Yeah, and just to ruin the suspense, I wouldn't have gotten that Star Wars question. You, Christian? No, 
I would have guessed like Galen Urso. Probably. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Kevin? Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Yes. And Chandru? Lord of the Rings, the two towers. Correct. Three, three. As we get to our next question here, number four, Mark. Impressive job writing that whole title, gentlemen. Your next question is in the world of DC movies. DC movies. And your question. In Batman 1966, Batman the movie, name two of the primary villains that Batman and Robin face off against. Need just two. Do not write more than two. They know so much, Christian. you got to remind them not to write everything they know. Smets finished before you even answer the question, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and go to round five. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Chandra. I went with the favorite ones of mine the Penguin and the Riddler. That's correct. And Smets. Joker and the Penguin. Correct. All right. Next question. Question five. And if we could have the whole countdown when it goes up, please. Um, all right. Four, four. As we get to our next question, here it is Marvel. Marvel. In Logan, what is the name of the boat that Logan wants to get for Charles that he's been saving up for? Oh, well, I know what question I'm asking you after this question, Christian. I can't wait to hear it, but this Prepare is yourself. You don't I, need to do an accent. I don't want to. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Smets. The Sun Seeker. Yes, Chandru. Sunseeker. Correct. Five, five. We are in a fight here for the Inner Geekdom Championship. Here's the next question, Mark. The next question, gentlemen, that is going to be in the realm of the wizarding world of that kid. The question, in Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, what spell does Luna use to fix Harry's broken nose? All right, so Christian, if I gave you a boat, what do you name in the boat? I can't do that in, this, in 15 seconds. Five, four, three, two, try. one. Pens down, please. And Chandru. She usually does toes, but episky. That's correct. Smets? I'll say it right. Episky. episky. Correct. All right. So six, six. They both are perfect thus far. Here's question number seven. Star Trek. Who plays... Ayel, A-Y-E-L, Nero's first officer in Star Trek 2009. Uh, Ken Napsok and Josh McCuga of the Afternoons podcast have a yacht, and they named it the Jar Jar Sinks. Mm. Fun fact. Five, four, three. Repeat. Two. First one. Here it is for Chandru. And who plays Ayel, A-Y-E-L, Nero's first <laughs> officer in Star Trek 2009? One JT rule for Chandru. Kevin yep. still has all three of his. And five, four, three, two, one. Pens down. And Kevin. Clifton Collins Jr. Yes. Chandru. I said Scott Atkins. Uh, so the champ draws first blood here as it is seven six, seven six. And we get to our next next question here, Mark. That's right. This is going to be in the world of the DCEU. And the question. Gentlemen, which DCEU film begins with a quote from Jules Verne? I really think these guys would like each other. They gave it a chance, Christian, but... Very competitive. You're very competitive. And five, four, three, two, one... Pens down. Chandru. Aquaman. Yes. Kevin. Aquaman. Correct. All right. So we have eight, seven. Kevin Smith has not missed yet, but we are now on question number nine. Heroes and villains. Who plays Emperor Ming the Merciless in 1980s Flash Gordon? <laughs> this one. You know I would do well on this one. Well, I, I, yeah, because you wrote the question. No, I didn't actually. No, you. This is the only. You probably called the writers and said, I, "Let me improvise." Four, three, two, one. 
Pens down, please. And Kevin. Max Fontenau. Let me see the spelling of it. Yeah. Side yeah. Got it. Yeah. And Andrew. Flesh. Ah. Uh, Max one side of. Yes, correct. All right. So Smets nine, Chandru eight. And so where we're at here, if Smet gets this, he's got a perfect round and gets a bonus question that he and only he will answer. Uh, here it is, Mark. Question number 10. All right. Question number 10 is in the world of mixed bag. Let's roll up the sleeves, reach our hand in there and see what we pull out. Could be a snake, a lizard or a question. It's a question. And that is for one point. Bruce Willis plays the character of Thomas Greer. In what 2009 comic-based film? This is a scrap. I mean, this you can feel it. You can feel it. You can, Christian. You can hear it in how hard they're placing their writing utensil onto their tablet. Five, four, three, two, one, and Chandru. Surrogates. Surrogates is correct. Surrogates. That is uh, correct. So yes, I want to call Winston on. I want to call Winston in. Okay. Yeah. All right. What's up, Winston, man? Uh, he's written the surrogates. So uh, should we challenge that? Or no? Because the movie's name is surrogates, I think. Mm, I mean, they, it's it's ticky tacky, man. I don't, I don't. You gotta give me a. You gotta give me a. No. a yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. If, if because if, if if there was a the and he didn't write the the. Uh, Okay. All right. That, that would be a that would be a valid thing, right? right. So, right. The so you can't just like err on the err on the safe side and put it everywhere. I get it. Ratify it. Ratify the challenge for challenge. You want to, you want to challenge it? Yeah. All right. All right. They're going to challenge it. All right. So they're challenging. Challenge on the table is that it is not the surrogates. It's not the surrogate. So we are going to challenge it, and we will be right back in just a moment here.
All right. We are coming back here from the challenge. We are coming back from the challenge, going to bring all the parties at hand back from the challenge. Mark, go ahead. All right. After conferring with the judges about the question about the article, the surrogates, the way that we have gauged this in previous iterations of a similar query is that if there's another movie called The Surrogates, then the question would be ruled as Kevin Smith's answering it incorrectly. However, there is not another movie called The Surrogates. There is a film called The Surrogate and there is Surrogates. It is also based off of a comic called the surrogate. Which is my so, problem. I understand where you're going with this, but if that's the name of the please comic- Please let me make my ruling before I get interrupted. So the ruling is going to be that the challenge will not be upheld. Kevin Smets does get the point for writing the surrogates. Yeah, we're not ruling it because of the comic book. We're ruling it because of the article. There's no other movie called the surrogates. So we are giving the challenge. But the um, precedent has been if it's a if it's if it's just a two word movie or a single word movie with the in it and you don't write the, the you get it regardless of whether the, whether a movie without the, the exists or not. That's what the precedent has been. And that's what was mentioned in the New York live event last season uh, in the match chance against Jenny the machine. And are we changing precedent during the match? What I would like I, to I've do seen to be honest, challenge the and not get it. To be honest with everybody here watching both the live stream and the competitors and the managers, what I would like to do, to be honest, is we made our ruling. That is our ruling. If it appeases everyone watching, I would like to have one more challenge card played, and I'd like to consult another round with the judges. I'm fine with that. All right. Please run the card. Thank you. All right, we're coming back again here, and we are going to Mark Ellis. Go ahead. That is right. After conferring with the judges once again and the snoring dog in the background, first of all, I apologize to all the competitors and the managers and the fans in the chat is that we only have a very limited time to discuss challenges. And in this particular matter, I felt it was warranted after hearing the case fully to go back and revisit the challenge. Here's what we have come up with. Because the movie Trivia Schmodown, while we have not officially published a comprehensive rule book as of now, however, we have set precedents, not just in studio matches, but in live events. One of the precedents that has been set in matches and in years past, both on stage and in studio, is that when it comes to a two word movie title, articles are important. The focus is usually whether you have the in there in the case of the thing. This was the inverse of that, where surrogates was the correct answer, although it was based on the comic, The Surrogates. Kevin Spence did write down The Surrogates, and that, because it is a two-word title, is technically an incorrect answer. It's heartbreaking to make this ruling either way, but the proper ruling is that Chandrews and Winston's Team Swag Challenge is upheld, and Kevin Smets does not get the point on the question. 
Hey, let I, me I, ask I, you, let me ask you something. If you're gonna if you're gonna go one way with a challenge and then go the other way, why don't you throw the question out and ask him a new one? That sounds unfair really to me. We heard, we heard, because we heard all the arguments and Andrew and Chandra. I, res I respect the decision. I don't want to win on right, some we're gonna, something we're gonna that everybody's gonna argue about. We're we gonna have move, four rounds. Move on. We heard Chandra and Chandra made good points, and so did Winston. So we we reversed. What, it's all good, it. Kaiser. It's all good, buddy. All right, so we're right. moving hey, now. Master, thank you, man. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Thank you. I appreciate you, man. All right, so let's. Can uh, you do a high five? If you, if you put your hand on the left hand side of the screen, it'll look back. like. Okay, no. you're pushing your luck now, Chandra. Let's just move along with the game. All right. Now, so we are back now, and round number two is going to begin. Going to bring back the managers. God help us all. And now we are going to read the rules of round number two as we have a score right now of 10 to 9 in favor of the champion. Ah, oh, finally, something I am good at. In round number two, this is the wheel round, gentlemen. Again, it works like a normal wheel round would in a run-of-the-mill inner geekdom match. You get to spin at the wheel because this is inner geekdom. Once you settle on the category of choice or of the wheel's choice, you're going to have five, yes, five questions in said realm of inner geekdom knowledge. Each question is worth two points. There is no penalty for missing a question, however, stealing. That is available in round number two. So if you're not sure of the answer, ask us for multiple choice. We'll give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. And at that point, the value of the question goes down to one. So Christian, seen a lot already in round number one. Look forward to more chaos in round number two. We do have Kevin Smets, the smasher, still has the option whether he would like to spin the wheel first or defer to his Go opponent. First. So well, let's choice. So I'm going to drop. First. Hold on a second. I got to drop out Chandrew and Winston. You got 60 seconds, Kaiser, to talk to Smets starting now. You want to defer, pal? Yeah, I think I'm going to go first. I'm you feeling it. I had that. Yeah, I had that wrong. It's. It is what it is, man. Baby. I don't. I don't want to win on something where everybody's going to complain about it. For you know, nah, you don't need it, brother. Months. You got this. All right, let's defer, pal. Yeah. Are you going to defer or go first? No, we're going first. We're going first, Kaiser. Sorry, I got confused. Yeah. All right. Okay. So, all right. So let's get the wheel up there. And here is the spin by the champion. Here it is. Yeah. Christian, I think at this point, both competitors just want to start answering questions again. Yeah, I think so. And, and it's looking towards MCU. Oh, it's the Wizarding yeah. World. Uh, you got the Wizarding World 60 seconds to decide if you want it starting now. Oh, uh, not one of your favorites, but certainly doable. No, yeah. I mean, I like I, there's nothing I really like on the wheel that I don't want to get. So let's go. Let's see what Wizarding World. You want you want to do it? Yeah, let's All do right. it. So he's gonna do it. All right. So we're gonna drop out. <clears throat> we're gonna bring back uh Chandru. Actually, hold on a second. Let's bring back uh Chandru and Kevin. You're gonna get five questions in the realm of the Wizarding World. Are you ready? Yeah. All right, here you go. Question number one. In Order of the Phoenix, what spell does Umbridge use to break into the Room of Requirement? Uh, I think I know it, but I need to go multiple choice because he's he's going to have an eagle right. eye. So, is it A. Confringo? B. Bombarda? C, Reducto, D, Defindo. Yeah, it's Bombardo. I thought, yeah. Correct for one point. I thought it's actually it's a different. Mm. I, know what you're, I know what you're trying to say. What's the challenge? Is there a challenge? Um, no, no I, challenge. Well, we're just. I'm not going to just... challenge. Okay. Christian, for the love of God, just ask the next question no, quick. I don't know what Go ahead. All Sorry. right. So, and then we, we can have the, the countdown, please. The countdown wasn't on for that one. All right, here we go. Here's question number two. Question number two. In the Sorcerer's Stone, what is the name of the specific part of the zoo that the Dursley family are in when they see the snake? Uh, Neanderthal. It's incorrect. Uh, Chandru, in the Sorcerer's Stone, what is the name of the specific part of the zoo that the Dursley family are in when they see the snake? Is it the reptile house? That's correct for two points. Awesome. Deal. Yes. All right. All right. It's all good. Question number three. Question number three. Okay. Number 12, Grimwald Place, was the childhood home of which member of the Order of the Phoenix? Sirius Black. Correct for two points. That's question number 
three. That was three. Excuse me. This is question four. According to Dumbledore, in the Deathly Hallows Part 2, what is our most inexhaustible source of magic? Multiple choice, my friend. Is it A, love, B, memory, C, words, D, wonder? Love. It's incorrect. Chandru, according to Dumbledore in the Deathly Hallows Part 2, what is our most inexhaustible source of magic? Is it A, love, B, memory, C, words, D, wonder? Words. Words for one point is correct. And Big steals for Chandru, Christian. And he, that is quite was question four. Here is question five. Yeah. Here's question five. Tom Marvolo Riddle is an anagram for what phrase according to the films? I am Lord Voldemort. For two points, Kevin Smets. And we find ourselves now with the score of 14-12. Smets goes, is up by two after that. Smets is up by two. 14-12 as Chandru now will be spinning. All right, going to drop out um, Smets and bring back Winston. You got 60 seconds. Dude, I, I can't be more proud of you right now. I mean, that challenge, way to way to plead your case. I threw a little bit in there, but that was all you hit him with precedent. Like, you you put out the tombs, you know what I'm saying? And then two yeah, steals. Yeah, being a of the game, Hill. Two steals. I am, to be clear, I, fellas, it was not y'all that swayed the decision. Just that's, don't that's, pat that's, yourself on the back. I, I just want to talk to him. Can I just can I just build him up? That's it. I understand you. I, this is more about just making sure he's good. A uh, couple things. Two JTEs, remember that. Only two. Mm -hmm. Just one. Uh, we still have our challenge because we did end up with the challenge. And um, breathe. Just breathe. You are doing excellent. I'm very proud of you. Let's keep going, man. And, okay, so you guys, that's you still got 15 seconds left, but you, that's it? Okay. Yeah, that's, that's right. Right. Yep. Yep. And here's the spin. Then, then, Christian, this could be a monster round for Chandra if he plays his cards or gets lucky with the spin. And here it is. And we're landing on Middle Earth. Middle Earth. You got 60 seconds to decide starting now. What you think, man? All right. This is an elderberry situation. Okay. All right. I respect it. Then let's make it All happen. Right. We're going to keep it. We're keeping it. You're keeping it. All right. Yep. So we're going to keep it. Going to bring back uh, Kevin here. And we got five questions in the realm of Middle Earth. All right. That's right. Chandra, you're going to have five questions in the world of Middle Earth. You currently are trailing Kevin Smets by two, so this question could tie the match. In the Hobbit trilogy, what is the name of the outlying hill beneath the Lonely Mountain where Thorin dies in battle in the Battle of the Five Armies? Five. Four. Raven Hill. That is correct, and we are tied at 14. All right, so Changer's looking to take his first lead here with this next question. All right, in the Lord of the Rings trilogy. In the film Return of the King, as Mount Doom is exploding, Sam asks Frodo if he can remember the taste of what? Strawberries. And they are delicious. Chandru now has the lead by two points over the Smasher. All right. So we're going to, that is question two. Next question. Three questions remain. And make sure you keep your hands up, gentlemen. Both of you guys, hands up. Yeah. All right. In the Hobbit trilogy, in the unexpected journey, after making a mess of his home, the dwarves helped clean up their mess. What did one of the dwarves mistakenly use for a dishcloth? A doily? That is correct. Two right. more points. Two more points. All right. Next next question here. This is question number four. Yes, it question, is. Question and number four. All right. Here it is. Your penultimate question in the world of Middle Earth. Chander for two points. Lord of the Rings here. In Return of the King, who asks Pippin, can you sing Master Hobbit? It's Denethor. That is correct for two more points. He's having a great round, too, uh, so far. Uh, uh, 
So here right, is. Hold on. Yeah, you want to bring Kaiser in or what? You, you got to move. If you wanted to, you got to let me know. Yeah, I mean, bring Kaiser in real quick. All right. Listen, you know, I heard Dennis Thor, but uh, it's Dennis Thor. But I'm, you know what? No. Let's challenge it. No. Is I don't want to win. I don't want to win that. I don't want to win that. I don't want to win that way. He said, I don't want to hear this. Is it Denethor or is it Denethor? Do you want, do you it's want? The answer is Denethor. I heard Denethor. And he said Denethor. Okay. Yeah. So challenge. All challenge. right. I did say Denethor. All right. You want to challenge? All right. Yes. Challenge, the challenge, the challenge, out. challenge is on the table. All right. Challenge is on the table. Coming back to the stream, challenge is is in, and we're going to bring back the managers here. Mark, go ahead. The challenge is in. The challenge was that Chandra had answered with Denator and not Denethor, which is the correct answer. After conferring with the judges, it was determined that Chandra had the correct answer. His accent is a little trippy. Everybody speaks in their own way, but both judges, as well as our head writer, all talked. And we are in agreement unanimously that Chandru had the correct answer of Denethor. All that's right. fine. I that's that's fine. Look, all right, we're all due respect. Go. Yeah, it's all good. So do they lose their do they lose their challenge? Do you lose yes, their they challenge? do. Uh, they have no longer any uses of challenges. However, Swag still has a challenge because theirs was upheld in round number one. That's yeah, right. All, re all respect, man. I just I heard it, but I understand your your decision. It totally makes sense. I've... 2014. There's one last question here as we get to the final question. Here we go, Mark. That's right. This is the last question in Middle Earth, and what a fun journey it has been. Chandra, your final question. Here we go. This is going to be in Lord of the Rings. What is the name of the elven warrior who brings aid to Helm's Deep? whom we first met in the Fellowship of the Ring. Haldir, H-A-L-D-I-R. Didn't need the spelling, but that is correct. For two more points, and Christian, given all of the, I'm not going to say controversy, but there's been a lot of stops and starts in this match, as you might <laughs> expect with championship caliber, but Chandra just crushed the realm of Middle-earth. That was very impressive to witness. All right, so we're going to bring in the managers here, and we get to round number three. This is a five-round battle far from over here. It is an eight-point lead by the challenger as we get to round number three. Mark, how does it go? I don't know when the last time you were in Vegas was, Christian, but I was there with one of the managers here today. This is the betting round, gentlemen, so a little bit of gambling is going to take place. Here's how it works. Whoever is in the lead, in this case, Chandra the Chosen, is going to get a virtual spin at the wheel. Once we settle on a category... Before a question is asked, and the only question in round three, each competitor is going to have to wager an amount of points. You may wager up to three points. You can also wager zero points or one point or two points. Here's where it gets interesting. If you get the ensuing question correct, you get those points you wagered. If you miss the question, you lose that amount of points. That's why they call it the betting round. So we'll make sure we get the bets in before we ask the question, and then... Have at it. So Chandra is going to get to spin the wheel with his mind or his, however he wants to do it. Do we, do we get to talk to them or no? Yeah, you do. You get, so okay. we're gonna, we'll start, we'll start with Kaiser has 60 seconds to talk to smash starting now. So we're going first, right? There's no first. It's just okay. uh, Chandra. Okay. It's a betting round. Yeah, oh, spin betting the wheel. Copy. Okay. Well, smash, you know what we want to do here. Yeah. Yeah. We're good. All right. All right. Okay. okay. Go ahead. You got 60 seconds there. Uh, Winston, go ahead. First of all, marathon, not a sprint. You're yeah, doing yeah. incredible. Keep breathing. Take your time. You have two JTEs. Oh, all you need to know, all right? All right. I'm mostly case. going pistachio. Yeah. Got all it. Right. All right. Here's the wheel. And spin is in. Here it is. There it goes. And Christian, boy, we have seen fortunes change mm -hmm. in the betting round. 
Let's go, let's go, let's go. Wheels are rolling. Oh, it's mixed bag. It is mixed right. bag. Yeah, it's mixed bag. All Woo! right. Mixed bag it is. All right. So that's in our wheelhouse. Mixed bag. <laughs> All right. So mixed bag. Let's drop. So, gentlemen, if you can make sure you put your points in the uh oh in here. Are we gonna get a countdown? You need to get a countdown, right? What's that? You get a countdown when they push it at the same time? Yes. yes. So Go ahead and enter it into the private chat. Don't hit yeah. enter just yet. Just write the, the number, and then yeah. Christian's going to give you a countdown. As soon as he hits zero, y'all hit that enter key so we know everything's above board. All right, so please, in the private chat, on the count of five, four, three, two, one, put it in, please. Thank you. Well sir. done. All right, well done. All right, so mixed bag, mixed bag it is, and here is your question. Here is your question. All right. In Back to the Future 2, according to Doc Brown, what had been abolished in 2015? Ooh. Where's the camera? I like that question. All right. Looks like their answers are in. And five, four, three, two, one pens down, please. Pens down. We start with Chandru. How many points? I bet one. And you said uh, road traffic. Something's not right. It's incorrect. So loss of one point. Uh, Smasher, you chose. I bet three. And lawyers. You, lawyers correct. Lawyers are correct. So that's a way to collect some three points right there, right. son. So Let's go. Keep it rolling. Good Keep luck. it rolling. Hey, Chandru, that's a good look. That was a good look. Mm -hmm. 2117. As we now see round number four comes in. Round number four, what is it, Mark? Oh, round number three. <laughs> round number three and one. That was easy to explain. Round number four, this is where it really gets tricky and where fortunes can change for the better, for the worse. Round number four is the speed round, the lightning round. If you're a fan of old time game shows, here's how it works because it's virtual. Competitors will answer their series of questions one at a time. While one competitor is answering questions, the other competitor will be completely out of the screen and not able to hear the questions, nor will they see what question or score the competitor got in the round. Ten random questions, all within the realm of inner geekdom. Each question is worth a point. An incorrect guess loses a point. However, there is another option. If you're not sure of the answer and you don't care to wager a guess, you may simply say pass. In that event, we'll go to the next question and no points are awarded or lost. After the field of questions is asked, we'll return to any questions that were passed on. You may again pass if you're not sure of the answer, but you're also free to wager a guess at that point. All of this action takes place within a tight 60 second window. That 60 seconds is going to kick off as soon as I, Mark Baby Caratellis, have read the first question of the 10. All right. So, Chandra, you have the lead here. You can discuss with Winston right now. 60 seconds if you want to go first or second, starting now. I would say we go second. Yeah. So, here's the thing I definitely need a bathroom break. So, going second is. Okay. Great. All right. Let's then let, we're going second. And um, am I going to talk to him again when he comes back? What's that? You're not going to be able to talk to him when he comes okay, back. So then, so then a couple things. Two JTEs. We, we're going over this again every time. Yeah. There's, there's no JTEs in the speed rounds. There are no, no that's fine. Forget the JTEs. That, I, I don't even listen to that. That's not important right now. So don't worry about that. Breathe and take your time. We've practiced the speed round. You know what to do and what not to do in certain situations when questions come up. Other than that, let's keep it going. This We still have two rounds left, baby. So go get that pee break in, and we're good to go. All right, so because so we are going to be so Chandra is going to be in the chat room, and because we want to make sure once Chandra is back, Chandra, go ahead and go to the restroom now. And as soon as Chandra gets back, enter the room. When he enters the other room, he's got to leave this room. And then once he does, then we will make sure that we start Smasher's night. So we're going to remove Chandra. How and, you guys doing? All right, so, uh, so far so good. We got to let's let's bring in let's bring in Kaiser and. Smash. All right, you got 60 seconds here, 60 seconds to discuss starting yeah, now. But the round won't start till he gets back, right? Don't, don't start. Don't worry about it. I okay, just want to make sure. <laughs> hey, man, that was a nice pickup. Three points. You know yeah, you I can know. catch him. This, this game ain't over, buddy. Well, this is, a, when, this is when a champion is tested. This is where you make your bones, brother. 
I told you, you I told point. you I wanted to go through a street fight. I wanted to, I wanted Amen. to fight and gut my way. So I'm excited but, for you. And I, like, honestly, I'm glad that the challenge was not held up or that wasn't challenged the challenge from round one. I'm glad because I didn't want that. The Denator thing, I feel bad because it wasn't anything about like anyone's accent or something, you know, like yeah, for whatever. me in my you head, I thought I heard it. Wrong. it but... Whatever, it's over. Let's not, M I don't want to think about the past. Let's think but about I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm, I'm excited for this. Ready round. to go. I'm, dude, I love mixing this up. This has been fun. This has been awesome, man. I've missed right. the game so much. Missed you guys. So let's do this. Let's All right. Do it. Ready to go. We've got, we have Chandra. I believe we're going to get the word is going to be, in, he's he's back and he's, he's got, watching the show in the other room. No, <laughs> he's not in the, he's not in the other room yet. As soon as we get word that he's in the other room, he's in the waiting room. All right. So we, Winston hands up, please. As Winston watches Winston in case there's any challenges or whatnot. So smasher, are we going to move Kaiser out of here? Do I need my hands up or could I lean down? Cause I mean, I'm not going to be typing fast enough for this anyway. Can I have my hands down? Yeah, that's, that's fine. If you, okay. it, that's fine. Just, uh, and we are going to mark our hold on a moment here. Let's get ready. And yeah, Kev, uh, before we yeah. start the clock, I'm going to be the one that tells you when the clock starts, how are you going to know? Because I'm going to have asked the first question. Okay. So are you I asking all of the questions? Or yeah, Mark, right Mark, will, Mark will be asking all the questions. You're asking yeah. all the questions. Okay. Yeah. I have a backup stopwatch here just in case. So it's going to be 60 seconds. Again, your time is not going to start until I'm finished asking the first question. Okay. So it. It's been a long, arduous match already. I'm going to ask questions in a brisk pace. I'm not going to rush through them. I'm going to take John Wooden, legendary coach's advice. Be quick, but never hurry. I'm going to ask you a practice question right now, just so that we make sure the connection is there. Okay. Exactly. Do you want me all to right. run the clock? Uh, do not run the clock for the practice question. Thank right. you. <laughs> you uh, Kevin Smets. Yes. What is your favorite film in the Back to the Future franchise? Back to the Future 1. No question. All right. I would not have accepted They're all perfect. perfect. They're yeah. all perfect, though. Shout out. Yeah. All, right. all right. So, Kev, I'm going to ask you your 10 questions, and then any questions that you passed on, I'm going to go back to those. I will not tell you whether you got your other questions correct or incorrect. Sure. Okay? Yeah. Here we go. All right. 60 seconds. At the end of this question, ask. Who plays Captain Haddock in The Adventures of Andy Tin Circus. Tin? In which film does Ron say, eat slugs to Malfoy? Uh, Chamber of Secrets. Who plays Margot Lane in The Shadow? Penelope Ann Miller. Name a character that appears in all six Middle Earth films. Uh, Galadriel. Michael Guff plays what character in Batman Forever? Uh, Michael uh, uh, Alfred. In Justice League, what is the name of Steppenwolf's minions? Pass. Which actress plays Karen Page in Daredevil? Ellen Pompeo. You can find the villain Mola Ram in which Indiana Jones film? Temple of Doom. Indiana Jones Temple of Doom. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? Uh, uh, pass. How many times has Kobe Smolders portrayed Agent Hill Six in the times. MCU? Six. Michael Guff plays what character in Batman? I said that already. Alfred. In Justice League, what is the name of Stephen? Parademons. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? Not going to risk it. Okay, so he passed on the last one. And that's a good eye on you, Kevin Smith. Uh, so Kevin Smith now has his total tabulator. We're not going to reveal how many he got right or got wrong until we have had Chandru complete his round. Well, well I went uh, I just have a, a question as far as the Chamber of Secrets. Does he need to? Did he? Is Harry Potter in the question? Did he need to say Harry? Potter? Need to say Harry Potter. I mean, I'm just. I'm just asking. Speed round, man. Come on, cut us. I, a no, 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 no. I, I understand. I'm it's just asking the question. question. It's a totally fair question. It's a yeah, totally no, fair question. Know. But no, but no, he does not have to. Okay, that's all, all right. I wanted to know. That's all good. It. All good. All right. So um, now we. I understand. It's a championship match. I get it. <laughs> I get it. Uh, yeah. So we. Okay. So we're gonna drop Smets out now. Okay. So I leave. You leave. All right. Now we're gonna. Now we're gonna bring. You need to jump into the next room, uh, and now we're gonna bring Chandru. We're gonna bring Chandru back. All right. So uh, as soon as Chandru returns, so mm -hmm. we will bring them back in just a moment here. Once Chandru completes his round, and we take some time to make sure that we've tabulated the scores correctly. Again, folks, they're flying fast and furious. We're going to have that updated score announcement, and then we will progress to round five, which will determine the match. Although, Christian, the way this is going, we could be looking at sudden death and some bonus schmodown. All right, so we have we have Chandru in here now. Chandru is in the room. Mark, you're going to give him the same, uh, same deal for what we gave to... Oh, wait, we got to remove... No, that's fine. Okay, all right, here all we good? go. Yeah, all good. All right, Chandru, uh, how was the bathroom break? Okay. Yeah, refreshing. 
Okay, you can relax for just a sec, buddy. I'm just going to walk you through the rules again, okay? Oh, okay. So uh, for the speed round, you don't necessarily have to have your hands where you can see them because nobody can Google that fast, but you do what feels comfortable to you. Okay. When I start reading the question is not when the time begins. When I finish the first question is when your 60 second clock starts. And I have a backup stopwatch right here just in case. So again, you can either answer or you can say pass. You will hear all the questions that you passed again, provided that we still have time in the 60 second window. You do not have to answer any question at any point throughout the 60 seconds. So before we get going, I'm just gonna ask you a practice question to make and, sure uh, that you can hear me okay I a, and I can hear you, okay? I have a clarification. If if you ask the question, the last question, if you ask it when the timer runs out, I cannot answer after the timer is run, run Not out. After the, ti after the timer, okay. no, but, you also, but you also will lose any points if you, if you don't answer on something you passed on. It's just mm -hmm. the only time you'll get docked a point right. is if you miss a question. Yeah. All right, so All Chandra, right. I'm gonna give you a practice one just to make sure we can hear each other okay. Mm -hmm. Chandra, what is your all-time favorite Batman film? Batman 66. Okay, good. All right, here. I like that, okay. Again, I'm gonna ask in a quick pace, but I'm not gonna hurry, okay? So you can mm -hmm. clearly hear the question, then we're gonna move on. I am not gonna tell you whether you got the question correct or incorrect, I'm just gonna to go to the next one, okay? Yep. Roger that. Okay, here we go. Your time starts at the end of this question reading. Who plays Captain Haddock in The Adventures of Tintin? Andy Serkis. In which film does Ron say, eat slugs to Malfoy? A Harry Potter in the Chamber of Secrets. Who plays Margot Lane in The Shadow? Penelope Ann Miller. Name a character that appears in all six Middle Earth films. Gandalf. Michael Gough plays what character in Batman Alfred Forever? Pennyworth. In Justice League, what is the name of Steppenwolf's minions? Parademons. What actress plays Karen Page in Daredevil? Ellen Pompeo. You can find the villain Mola Ram in which Indiana Jones film? Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom. What original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? The Power of Love. How many times has Kobe Smulders portrayed Agent Hill in the MCU? Three, two, one. Yes. <laughs> okay, Chandra just decided to go to a nice, happy state there, Christian, and he passed on that last question. All right, so we now will just tally up real quick, and then once we tally up, we will bring both the competitors back here. So that was about as intense yeah. as you get, Mark. I'll take a quick breather here, folks. We'll be back with round five. <laughs> All right. Hold on a second. Well, let Christian tabulate the votes and I'll be on here vamping. So this is my opportunity to remind everybody that, yes, this is an intense match tonight, but this is just the beginning of all these exciting Schmodown pay-per-view events that we're going to have the next few Fridays. And then, yes, we are keeping an eye on that Kevin Smith versus Chris Jericho headline matchup. And really, who would have thought that there would be any match that you could possibly have between two human beings that would supersede Guy versus Bateman 2? That's right. The action fellows, they're not too happy with each other. So they're going to be competing in movie trivia. And that is the undercard. And you can get all that for just $10 at the Schmodown Patreon tier. Or you can check it out on pay-per-view at your leisure. And look at how great our tech team is behind the scenes. Already updating that graphic from the 27th to the 28th. One of the more impressive feats I have seen. And before we get the judges score, how about everybody in the chat room right now? Just give it a clap emoji or say clap her hands for everybody working so hard behind the scenes here. Our wonderful tech crew really pulling off the wizardry that makes this Schmodown hum. All right. So we're going to bring back both the champion and the challenger. So in this speed round, you both got nine correct, and you both passed on one. You both gained nine points. Smets, you you passed on what original song from Back to the Future was nominated for an Oscar? That was The Power of Love. I figure I just didn't want to get. I just wasn't sure about that. One of Andrew, them. you passed on how many times has Colby Smolders portrayed Agent Hill in the MCU? The answer was six. So, with so that. With that, here's the, here's the thing though. In Far From Home, she didn't portray. Doesn't matter. You didn't answer it. You didn't. The answer. But, but he answered six, right? Six is wrong. What? Right. Colby Smolders was in it sixth. Okay. 
Uh, yeah. Maria Hill that, in the sixth that'd round. be the case at the moment, then we'll have to retally that. Unfortunately, there are no challenges in the speed round, and we now will have, and there was no challenge made afterwards from your manager. So at the moment, we are now going into round number five. What are the rules in round number five, Mark? Round number five, Christian. This is the round that will determine the match, unless, you know, overtime, sudden death. So in round number five, what we need from each competitor is a series of numbers. We need three numbers from each of you. You may not pick the same numerals as your opponent. This is inner geekdom, so your three numbers must be within the range of one to 16. As soon as we get the numbers, those numbers are going to correspond to a different corner of inner geekdom goodness. Your first question is worth two points. Your next one is worth three points. Your last one, should we get that far? I think we will. It's worth five of the biggest points of your Schmodown career. So because Andrew enjoys a lead of four, we are going to have his three <clears throat> numbers first. Keep in mind, competitors, there is no stealing in round number five, and there is no penalty for missing a question in round number five. Okay, Chandra, what feels lucky to you from one to 16? I'll say two for the two jokers that won the Oscars, seven for all seven jokers, and 12 for all 12 Bruce Wayne's. All right, Chandra, two, seven, and 12. And for Smets? Uh, representing SDSU, let's do 619, my friend, 619. Six, one, nine for the champion. All right, so, so Kevin Smets right now has a deficit of... Right now, excuse me, it is, where did I it's four? I think it's 30 to 26. Four. It's 30 to 26 at the moment. 30 to 26, thank you. So, Smet, you're going to answer first to try yeah. to avoid the TKO. Going to drop out both Winston and Kaiser. All right, your first one. You chose category number six. Category number six. Yeah. All right, here it is. Category Marvel. Who plays Moira McTaggart in X-Men First Class and X-Men Apocalypse? Rose Byrne. For two points, that is correct. All right. So now, in order to bounce it to Chandru, you need to hit Category 1. Category 1. And you chose the category of Who Said It? <laughs> who Said It? Love Who Said It. All right. Here you go. Which Marvel character in a 2005 film says the following? You always think. You never act. What if we got these powers for a reason? Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards. That is incorrect. The answer is Johnny Storm, Human Torch. So One of those days, man. All right. We get down to this. I think you be awesome. A five-pointer. If you hit the five-pointer, it bounces back to Chandru. However, if you miss it, Chandru will win the championship via PKO. Are you ready? Ready. Category nine for your five-pointer, heroes. Heroes. Here it is. In Captain America, the first Avenger, what is the code name of the super soldier experiment that Steve Rogers goes through. Project Rebirth. For five points, the champion gets it there as we see ourselves now 33 to 30. 33 to 30. So Chandru is in the position to win the championship here, Mark. Smets has used all uh, of his uh, questions at the moment. So here is Chandru who needs to hit number two, category two. I can't hear Mark. Oh, Mark, I can't hear you. Muted? And we're back. There you go. <laughs> Just giving that golden maple syrupy voice a little break. So Chandru currently trails by three. He can catch up with these next two questions, Christian, and win the match. But that's not going to be an easy task because, Chandru, you selected number two for your two-point question. Yep. That corresponds to the wizarding world. Okay. And here. Two-point question. This could get you to within one of the champ, the Smashers lead. What is the name of Harry Potter's aunt who he lived with before going to Hogwarts? Petunia. P-E-T-U-N-I-A. Petunia. All Appreciate right. you, my man. Don't need to spell it. We're within one, Christian. So here is where we are. 
Chandru either needs to hit his three or his five. If he does, he is the new movie trivia schmodown inner geekdom champion. Mark, he chose category number seven for his three-pointer, for his three-pointer. That's right, Christian. And this is the question that, if Chandra answers correctly, would win him the match and the belt. And given his pre-show show, it's a third category. <laughs> this is in the world of the DCEU. And Chandra, your question. For the win and to become the inner geekdom champion of the world. In Shazam, how many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? Repeat. First one, or second one, excuse me, second one. And do that. This is in the DCEU in Shazam. How many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? I just want to hear the wording again. Uh, repeat. Last one. This is in the DCEU in Shazam. How many total people live at the Vasquez family foster home after Billy becomes a member of the family? Eight. And your winner! <laughs> and the newest movie yes! champion of the world! Oh my god! Andrew, oh my god! The oh my god! Chosen! Dude, dude you did it! Andrew, you did it! Oh my God! Andrew, 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 you did it! Oh God, I want to swear so bad, dude! You did that! You did that! That was you! I am so proud of you! Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh! Swagathon 2020! Let's go! Final score. Five, 33. Chandler, the chosen Degapani taking the tribute showdown inner geekdom championship from the Smasher. He is the new champion. And that is an absolute crazy, crazy match. Chandra, look, man, you're going to stick around here to talk to. Uh, the patrons, by the way, if you're a patron at the ten dollar level, you come in and you can ask some questions. Q and A at the uh, end here. Talk to the new champion. Come on, I see you, Chandru. I see you, boy. I see you. I see you. All right. So if we can, if we can get to the standings also, because that's a, that's another thing. Because not only, not only did they win the championship. Uh, if you look at the overall standings, once we get those ready. It is an absolute crazy, crazy scene here as Chandru takes the title from the Smasher and Winston Marshall, who managed a hell of a game here, a hell of a game. And you can see how much it meant to him. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. I, I, I can't. I can't. Y'all don't understand. This man is the heart and blood of swag. I said it when I was on that stage. I said, I'm going for somebody with that melon that looks like me. I told you, this man coached everybody. This man has been there for everybody. He's, his Zoom is always open. He's there to be in a, in a thing. If he's not even involved, it could be regular schmode out. He doesn't care. He wants to be there. He earned this. He earned this so hard. And it, it just, forget swag. I, I'm so proud of the faction. This is about you. You did this. They all doubted you. They said that he was going to smash you. And what did you do? You proved that you're the chosen one. I watched Fellowship. I don't even like Lord of the Rings. I watched it. You're the ring bearer, my guy. You're the ring bearer. Oh, my God. Andrew, look, man. Uh, look, I got to tell you. I mean, it, you, you played a very tactical game here. You played a very tactical game. And you have to be uh, you have to be commended for it for the way that you played. Because, it, look, 
the challenge was something that you know you you had you, you made your move, you made your play. That worked out for you. You played that second round beautifully. Um, it looked like after that first round that you got Smets rattled and you played on that and you could tell you played on it really well and you did well because even in that betting round, you, you betted conservatively, you only bet a point, and then you just annihilated that speed round. Impressive playing. I mean, you've only been playing this game for this, your second season and you seem like a, you know you've been playing it for years. Does that also come because you've been a fan of the thing for so long? Yeah, definitely. At, at actually, being a student of the game and like watching all these matches uh, helps a lot. And uh, uh, I, I've learned last season that knowledge can only take you so far. Playing the game uh, well and playing the game um, strategically is also important. And standing up for yourself in ch challenges like this, especially when how, when I have like a manager and a faction supporting me, is is great. I I still I still can't believe this is. <laughs> happening my eyeliner is running you're the champ you're, you're, you are the inner geek team champion i know you, you can you are the champion and um there is a there's a lot to talk about there but mark i know you had a couple questions yeah chandrew it, it's such an emotional time for me right now and this is one of my favorite parts of the gig is that we get to talk to competitors who are fiery who are technicians who know a lot about a lot of movies as we and see the standings here yeah. How does that feel with swag on top of the Finstock Exchange? Christian, that might elicit a few more tears from uh, I Winston mean, Marshall. Well, that is a night. That is a story all in itself. I mean, they, they came in here today, the heavy underdogs, and and the pride looked like they were going to, you know, maybe even upset after that first round. But they fought back. They won both. This was swag's night. 30 points. 30 points over the Finstock Exchange is the first time the Finstock Exchange has not been in first place. Wow, what a night there for swag. Sorry the, uh, to, to finish up on uh, what you were asking there, Mark. I apologize. Hey, you know me. I can always get cut off by stats. Uh, Chandru, in this time right now, and you're feeling this, the thrill of victory, there's somebody else on the other side of the ledger who's experiencing the agony of defeat. What do you have to say for your combatant, Kevin the Smasher Smets? I mean, I, I just want to say he played a great game today. Like uh, He came back both in the in the in the betting round and the speed round uh, and a perfect round five so which is which is all what I expected of him like I didn't I didn't expect him to give up at all and I didn't expect him to rat get rattled just because of uh, a lead uh, um, being trailing in those matches so I'm sure he'll get more chances to uh, play uh, down the line and uh, I'm also excited on the fact that uh, there could be a potential Smets versus Kalinowski coming down the line because both of them are w probably one ma one match away from again playing for the title, and uh, I'm also excited for that. And uh, every time, any time Smets gets a loss, he gets even better better for the next match. So I'm I'm. Why are you here? Oh, Nobody wait, wants man. to talk to you. Go away, Shannon. You see this? I'm doing your bit. This isn't about you right now. Shannon Hardy. Shannon Hardy coming in here for the Shannon. You. you, you I'm here to tell you congratulations, so pipe the hell down, sir. Sit down and let me tell you good job. All right, Shannon, you did May crash. I? Here too. Yeah, well, yes, please. I mean, there's a reason you crashed. May you I, please? Yes, go ahead. Go, go, please. Chandru, the chosen Don Pawnee, you did it. You dethroned Kevin Smets. And I will say, congratulations. I did not think you would do it. I had my money on Smith, but I most certainly did not discount you at all because I know that you are the slimiest, most weaselly, challenge horny player in this entire league, and you would do whatever it took to get rid of Smith. And hey, you did it, and you guys are in first. You got a nice double whammy under your belt, and to that I tip my hat to you. Enjoy first place as long as you can. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to moan. I'm not going to bitch about it. But I just want you to know, Winston Marshall, enjoy it for a minute because one, two, corruption's coming for you. I don't watch scary movies. So that reference to Nightmare was dumb. Get out of our victory parade. Well, sure. I see that we're in the lead. Swag, swag, drip, drip. We just took a chip. Three, four, no, or oh my god, we rule. Oh my god, 
All right. Oh my so, God. Listen, listen. So like, the one the one thing that she does bring up here though, too, when she came in, that's what she does. She comes in, she fires shots, she takes off. She's the queen for a reason. Um, but look, the one thing that she makes a point of, we know who you're playing next. Uh, you're defending the championship at Spectacular against Chance, the Cobra, Ellison. Uh, you know, there there is this is a big battle here. So what do you think here about Chance and his uh and his play in that inner geekdom, Chandra. And to think I was going to play some new players this season. It's all uh, old competitors, old rivals. It's 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 interesting that uh, Winston is dressed as Robin here because I'm going to play the, the boy Wonder of Corruption next. It's just, I, I don't know if he'll bring both of his uh, babysitters to the match. I don't know if we, he can only bring one of them. So uh, we'll see. Um, all props to Chance. He played a hell of a hell of a tournament. Like I was really uh, impressed with how much he how much he knows and how much effort he's putting into this tournament. So um, looking forward to that. And also, um, um, again, like I said, I'm playing new, not playing new players, and I'm trending, a, uh, seeing a trend this season. I'm playing people who've beaten me before, who've outscored me before. And uh, this, is, this is the season of redemption. This is the season of, uh, I don't want to say revenge because revenge is... It's, uh, look, it's hard to say anything else, but, but enjoy it right now, my friend, because you can say it. You are the new movie trivia <laughs> inner geekdom champion of the world, and <laughs> the chosen. Congratulations. I know how hard you worked for it. So, so you, dude. All right. We're going to remove and congratulations to Winston. We're going to see you guys in just a second because we are going to have a, uh, a Q&A with the patrons bringing in just a moment. But we want to bring in both um, Kevin Smets, John Kaiser. Kev, uh, I know you're, you're probably uh, a little beat up about it right now. And uh, it was... Do you think after that first round, when the challenge went Chandra's way, uh, it seemed, and I could be wrong, it seemed like a shift in your mentality once uh, once it went the other way? Yeah. Um, well, I knew. When the challenge went, when it was an underway, I was hoping for it to go my way so I can get that bonus uh, question. But I honestly, then half of me was like, well, I don't want to win that way because it is surrogates. It was just, it was a mental error. I was riding that high of nine, nine questions in a row. Um, you know, it was the second round again, for some reason with Chandru, I can't, I, my second rounds, uh, I have difficulty with it, uh, with the, uh, Harry Potter second round. Um, you know, I do a lot of hardcore studying with, uh, with all, all the slices. I didn't really get around to that. Um, I had binged it all with the lady and it was, it was fun to watch, but I should have, um, gone with my, I think my gut, I was like, well, maybe I should respin it. I really want scores and soundtracks one day of my life. But um, the problem was, you know, that first one, it's reducto, but actually in the movie, she says reducto maximus or maxo, and I couldn't remember it. Um, so that's why I went multiple choice for that one. And then the snake, I knew they were in the reptile room, but I recall that they were in another room in the zoo and that they run over when he falls in the thing. So there was a lot of like second guessing. It's funny because, you know, I think in any of those other slices, I probably would have ran the table. And you'd think with Harry Potter, I'm the Harry Potter champion uh, per se. Uh, but then, you know, uh, yeah, I don't know if it was me getting rattled from losing that challenge because I was really OK with it. But, um, you know. For me, I, I kind of come away with a little bit of a victory here because, you know, coming back, like I was down a lot and I was down a lot against Chandra the first time. Seems like I always play uh, catch up with him, but it's sports. This time, you know, the, the three point shots trying to come back weren't, weren't falling for me. And, you know, I got to give it up to Chandra, man. Like you played excellent. Like if I can't literally, this breaks my heart, I can't literally hand it to you right now on camera, but I wish I could so you could hold it up because you played it. You were, a, I hope you're a fighting champion too. I love this belt. Um, All right, Kev. Listen, this was a this was a. I know how much you love it, and I know how much you know. This was it's probably it. You've been through this before, though. I mean, obviously, with uh, Kaiser and I asked you the same thing. Too. You guys have been through this kind of loss before with, with with Mike, and and I know how much the belt meant to you. But what does that mean now? Uh, and I guess Kevin can answer this after you do, Kaiser. But it's like. Is this one of those things where you get right back on the horse? You take some time. You wait for season eight. Uh, what do you do? We all know what Kevin Smets is like when he's a man on a mission. Sometimes he needs to take a, a kick to the jaw 
to pick himself back up and come back even stronger. We all know winning the belt is tough. Hanging onto that belt is a lot harder. Uh, you never underestimate Chandru. He's a damn good competitor. We always knew that he was going to come in and, and fight his butt off. Um, I was a little, I was happy to watch his mascara run. That was kind of fun because Shannon's not wrong. He, he is, he is a weasel, but he's, he's, he's the champ. He's a champion weasel. Now uh, I want to give Winston props. He came into this league. He's taking it by storm. You know, I got a lot of words for Winston and I like to bust his hump, but you can't take nothing away from what his team's done this year. The dungeon will come back stronger. We can't wait to come back live, come back live at a live event and take our belt back. And that will happen. Now Smets gets to go have a kid. He gets to bring a baby smasher into the world, take some time off. But remember this. Now I get to unleash Kevin Smets in singles. He can get out of IG if he wants. He's got other options on the table. I know he's excited about that. I'm happy for him. I love him. He's my brother. He will be back, and he'll be back stronger. Actually, you know what? I like a challenge. So this, this ain't nothing. This is just a couple months we don't have a belt. But we will, we'll be back. That's for sure. We always bounce back. Yeah, man. Hey. Kaiser, I just, you know, I know that, you know, we started this year, we want to be a fighting champion, and then we lost uh, Mar in New York, and then we lost, uh, you know, the, the the match in Houston, and I, I, I feel bad, I feel like, uh, you know, you, you went all in on me, and you picked me first, and, you know, for me to come away from this season with zero points for you, I, I'm very sorry, man, but I promise you this, it's, it's not going to be the same smasher next year, I'm going to come back, everybody's seen what's happened, uh, when I've fallen and uh, I'm just know to, to work harder, you know, uh, I need, I need, it's just the second round, the second round again, kind of just knocked me off my game. Uh, and then I was playing catch up. You saw that uh, you know, the, the fifth round, I was fine. The, the uh, speed round, I'm sure I'll get slack from Brad about that. I just wasn't sure. And I didn't think he would know it. So um, I, that's why I did that skip, but I just, you know, Kaiser, as far as, you know, you being my best friend, man, I'm sorry I let you down this year, dude. Um, and uh yeah, there's no need to, to FedEx the belt whenever Chandra wants it. I'll be glad to give it to him, give him hand, shake his hand and say congratulations. I'll be back, man. This this makes me stronger. And uh, yeah, anything I can do for the dungeon, I will. And yeah. Um, yeah. I, you know, uh, I, there, I, it's not the end of the world. I, I, there's great things uh, for me right now. I'm very happy. I have, like, like I just said, I have a little one coming in the world. Did, was it distractions? I don't think it was. I think that the what happened last weekend was beautiful, and it really like calmed myself and it it cleared the decks. I just think that I went all in on Potter, and maybe I shouldn't have done it. I I kind of discounted on my base knowledge of that when I should have gone for what I was planning to do, which I was aiming for a couple slices on there. I didn't do it. So breaking it down, it all happened in the second round, and uh, you know, uh, congrats to Chandru. You know, and I just appreciate being on here with you guys and mixing it up. It's you know, to only play once this year is heartbreaking after you know playing um, so many times last year. But uh, it's the world it is today, and I, I just miss the fans and I miss the interaction. And, you know. Um. Hey, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Does anybody love this game more than Kevin Smets? Man, I'll tell you, it's okay seeing him like this. He's going to pick I, – I, I love a challenge. He's going to pick up his head. He's going to come back stronger. Changer ain't going nowhere. The Kalinowskis of this world aren't going anywhere. Hell, Chance came out and showed that he's one of the best players in the IG. Who saw that coming? It makes for a better division. It makes for better competition. This is just where the dungeon wants to be with our back against the wall, and we're going to come back stronger, Harloff. I promise you that. All right. Well, look, Mark, you had one? I don't have a question, Christian. I think we've allowed Kaiser to talk plenty, although it was a very tough loss for him. So I'll just reiterate this to Kevin, the smasher Smets, although I'm sure he already knows it, is that the theme in Batman is that you become more than a man, you become a symbol. And I think that you've managed to do that within the realm of the Schmodown, that you're no longer just flesh and blood. You're someone who a lot of people look to as a story of resilience, as a story of greatness and gold tested in fire. But what I'll tell you is that that belt, while it may have a lot of gold on it and it's a pretty heavy belt, you're going to replace it with another bundle of joy that I think is going to mean even more to you. And so from everybody here at the Schmodown, congratulations. I think you've done what very few people who knew as many inner geekdom answers as you did, and that is that you managed to find a loving partner and do some <laughs> procreating. So congratulations, my friend. Yeah, and Kevin, uh, to, to echo that, we know you'll be back. Uh, we know that the dungeon will be back and we thank you for everything that you put into this game and how much heart and soul that you put into it. And uh, like you said, Chandra played his heart out today and he's the champ. And what it also does, it it opens up that field for that rubber match should it happen down the line. So, all right. Thank you so much to both Kevin Smets and to 
Mr. Kaiser here. Thanks, Kevin, everyone. Thank you so much. All right, so we're going to remove both those guys. Bring back Winston Mitchell and the new movie trivia showdown inner geekdom champion, uh, Mr. Chandrew. And there you are, Chandrew the Chosen. <laughs> hey, you I can bring the screen. <laughs> I got you. Hold on. Belt onto this. That is, in fact, a belt. Before we get to our, I don't want to miss any of the fans. I'm going to run and feed a very hungry dog, and I'll be right back. I'll be right back. All right. So Mark will Mark will come back in just a moment here. Oh, um, I got you, bro. I got my belts too. Let's go, bro. <laughs> Let's go. I'm with you, my man. I, can I can I just say real quick before yeah. I know the fans I know the fans are coming in the patrons are yeah, coming in yeah. soon. I first of all need to congratulate uh, Kevin Smets on just the life upgrade on getting married on having a baby, dude. That's that's real life stuff, and and I gotta tell you, in a time considering how crazy the world is right now, I can't give you anything more but love at all. You need some formula. You need you need a break. I'm an uncle fifteen times over. You tell me what you need, man nothing but love for you um and and to follow that up not just the real life um the only reason that we're here is because of you you helped pave that way the same way that kalinowski did before you and rachel did before you and every single person that's held that ig belt you put that fire in us you showed us the path you showed us the way and so that is why we came at you as hard as we did my man you are truly an incredible champion and you crafted another one right here i know people go back and forth want to talk trash and say that chandrew's rude and changes this forget all that mess this is a passionate man that cares about the people in his life and he played his butt off and it's all because of people like smets like kalinowski like rachel you guys are the reasons why this continues to happen all right so thank you winston are we going to bring in some of the uh patrons here now starting with Dagan. What's up, man? How you doing? Hey, guys. How you doing tonight? Good, man. You got a question for uh, either Winston or the champ? Yeah, Winston, I just want to say first, man, you are easily the clear candidate for manager of the year. Uh, you, the emotion between this and between the uh, win for Ace, just incredible. Um, so I, I guess my question yeah, man, for the faction in general is uh, how do you maintain and continue to hold the lead in the standings and, um, you know, with your the, players that you have in the singles tournament as well as, you know, Chandra defending the belt against uh, Chance uh, should yeah. be really exciting. I mean, the, the quick answer to that is that I, I've made it very clear. I know how intense this league is and I know how hard people study hell. I'm even going in and studying right now to be there with them. Um, but I think the thing that's more important than anything, I have said this a million times to the point where a lot of times the, the, the people in the faction make fun of me and sarcastically say it back. I say, take your time, take a deep breath and have fun. And that's the one thing that I wanted to bring back to the Schmodown. I'm not saying the fans aren't enjoying it, but I think that there's something wrong with you are so hell bent in your book and everything else that you're not, enjoying the competition you're not enjoying the film that you're watching even if it's a bad film i just want that to be the mantra going forward and that's something that i see everybody take including chandrew man like I, I i watch him just relish in it as we study so that's that's how we continue the momentum going but well, does that mean that we're going to be flawless by the time this thing is over who knows but as long as we keep this kind of mentality i think we can do anything awesome all right well thank you dig and thank you uh yeah, Winston congrats for guys drip drip Thank you, awesome. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. All right. Yeah. yeah and just a reminder to uh, any of the patrons that are coming in now, please, after you're done answering your question, please drop out to give uh, opportunity to some other people. Uh, Zach, the Savage. Nice. What's up, Zach? What, who, what do you got for either uh, Winston or uh, the champ? So, Chandrew, uh, how do you feel about going against Chance uh, in, in Spectacular and being potentially the first person in a very long time to uh, defend this belt successfully. Yeah. I'm definitely looking, definitely looking forward to that, man. And also uh, probably the first person ever to defend the IG title at the Spectacular uh, too. It's also, it's also like um, there up there because nobody has defended the IG title on uh, at, during Spectacular. It's always changed hands. I'm really excited. I know Chance is spread a little thin between um, 
teams, singles, and IG. So um, he um, he's going to be like splitting his focus a lot. But he's also a momentum player. You know what I mean? So the more he plays, the better he gets at like everything. So he's going to have a lot of momentum uh, running up to the match. Whereas I only have like I have like no zero matches uh, from now to spectacular. So um as much as i'm excited uh, for that match and I, as much as i want to celebrate this title win the studying starts tomorrow all right thank you so much zach appreciate it hey all winston right. did you do you judge how well you tidy your apartment based on the quality <laughs> of the match because your room looks immaculate behind you true Bro, I, I said it was the swagathon 2020. You think I'm going to be out here with boxes? As a matter of fact, I feel bad. All the trash is right outside my front door. My neighbors are probably furious. Hey, you clean up when Tim Sim is in the building. <laughs> <laughs> well, Tim Sim is in the building. Tim, uh, you just watched one of the greatest matches that we've had this season and for the title. How are you feeling about it? And uh, what question do you have for either uh, Winston or uh, Chandra? Uh, no, no, definitely a master remember for this season. And looks like the match of the year, you know, uh, Pool has just gotten a bit more crowded with this one. <laughs> but uh, yeah, congrats to Chandru. And can I just say for the record that this is by the first time I've seen Batman dance again since whatever he did in the 1960s. <laughs> I, how do I say Batman is 66 is my favorite Batman movie? I mean, I, I it, 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 yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> it, it definitely makes sense. So my question is for uh, uh, Winston. So I know that. Someone already said that, you know, you have a, a tough road ahead and, you know, the singles tournament with final exam, you know, its current run. And, of course, the two championship matches you have so far are spectacular. And uh, I'm just wondering about uh, for the teams tournament, is there any uh, plans on also having Rogue to participate along with final exam, depending on how the um, team matches go? I mean, that's a great question. Uh, the honest answer is I don't know yet. I think part of it is that I have to see what Lon and Paul are going to do. Um, I have to see about what Rogue Two feels about stuff. I have to see about how the whole faction is, man. And it's one of those things that I'll be honest with you. You keep a certain level of uh, forethought when you plan stuff. But this entire week has just been focused on Get final exam ready, get changer ready. Get final exam ready, get changer ready. I literally take this stuff a week at a time, and that's all I can do because there's a lot to do to get to this point. In order to do something like this, there's a lot of work behind it. So I, I, I'm not sure yet, but we will see indeed uh, when the time has come that Christian asked me who I'm putting forth. All right. Thank you, Tim. Appreciate it. Um, awesome. All right. Uh, you know, for, the, for this guy coming in, I'm, I'll even do this. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, I know who it is. Yeah. Chandru knows my name. Chandru knows who I am. That's incredible. Listen. Um, yes. Sorry. Can I? I just want to speak with Chandru real quick. Is that okay? Of course, so. Go ahead. Um. So Chandru is somebody who suffers with massive anxiety and definitely would have conceded that challenge after the little pushback. The fact that you knew knew what you were doing and you kept on with that challenge, that was, I can't even describe, that was truly inspirational. That really, that hit me in, in ways that it probably shouldn't have. That was incredible. Also, Kevin Spett said he wanted to be a fighting champ. What is he fighting? Failure. Oh, that's oh, not no, 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 no. I, indeed, I love you, man, but I, I, I'm not gonna go on him like that. He played in an 33. Oh, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Winston. Okay. Manager of the year. Oh, you know better than me. You do know better okay. than me. Well, I'm manager of the year. You've been a diehard from day one, man. I, I don't. I, there's no offense there at all. I just we're just keeping it classy. That's all, my guy. But I thank you. Thank you for everything. Keeping it classy. We we just swagging and winning. Right. Thank you, Dean. I think Dean has been there for every big swag victory in all these Q and A's here. So thank you, and Dean. He's nice. Good. He's very classy. He's very respectful, but excited. Like he he's like a perfect fan. All right, bring it. <laughs> I in the house. What up? Yes. Hey. Andrew, I'm so fucking proud of you. Oh that shit was great. Try to keep it clean. Try to keep it clean. What are you, me? Oh, what? Hey. <laughs> all right. So let's. Uh, right. Yeah, yeah. What do you got for us? All right. So. Uh, Winston, just quick, just small but big question. You're sort of rocking it right now in the management game. Unless I'm mistaken, this is your first season managing. You're managing 
the first brand new Star Wars contender in a long time, the current IG champ, a possible teams champ, and a former singles champion. How are you putting this together? Like, as a manager, how are you coming to terms with all these different areas of study? And then how are you just bringing such, such success out of it? I mean, the truth is, it's the same thing that I said. I mean, I think me wearing this Robin thing is actually more poignant. As dope as a superhero as Robin is, whenever he is Robin and not Red Robin or Nightwing or whatever other character, he is a support to Batman. For me, my players are Batman. I am just there as the backup. I am the sidekick. I'm the partner. I'm the swag wonder. I'm not... It, it has nothing to do with me. Would it be awesome to win manager of year? Of course it would. Who doesn't like winning awards? Who doesn't like people telling you you did an incredible job? But I don't care. I care about Chandu having a belt. I care about final exam having a belt. I care about Liz or or Frank or Paul or Lon or anybody that we're doing with the singles having a belt. That's, that's what I care about. I care about my team looking back on this and going, wow, that was us, yo. We did that. That's what I care about. Wait, wow. uh, before Adelaide, before Adelaide leaves, uh, Adelaide, I've, I've heard your robot voice over time maybe make some fun of, of the dog. Do you want to say anything to the dog before we kick you out? I don't know what you're talking about. No, I love dog. Molly. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I think you're, 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 okay. you're thinking you're, it's a diff, different person. I love you, Adelaide. I love, I love you, thank too, Mark. you. All right. Talk yeah. to you. Yeah. All right. Uh, last one here. This is our last patron that we're going to be bringing in here to Carlos. What's up, hey. Carl? Uh, what do you got for us? First time here. Thank you very much for, for allowing me. Uh, first of all, I wanted to say uh, to the judges, thank you very much for that call on the Denator uh, challenge. Uh, I think it's very important for our like diversity and understanding that we all love movies and have different accents. It was great. I was very moved by that call. Thank you very much. Uh, so, I, guys, you made me join Patreon, and today you didn't. <laughs> like, like seriously, today was an amazing day. Excellent job, Chandru. Keep dancing, man. Uh, it's amazing. <laughs> For sure. Um, how are you guys feeling? Like, it seems that you're going to uh, like domain like a spectacular this year. I mean, this has been six months in six months preparing for this. Uh, when when the uh, when the whole quarantine thing started i was like wait nothing is different because i've been studying for a month before even before the quarantine started and like that just made me kick it into like the next year and yeah i don't like to talk about my study techniques but like if uh, winston knows like what i've been doing to prepare for this match and it's it's crazy it's almost like a second job at this point and it would have would have uh, so I can kind of empathize with Ke Kevin because like he also does does that put that much effort into it and put that much work into like preparing for these matches and it's just nice to see that you know like pay, uh, bore, bear fruit uh, and um, and yeah like and um, it, it, with the faction standing as well it, I, I felt like the final exam uh, finally just like set the ball up for me for a spike and I, I, I was just like um, I was able to spike the ball to um, to use a volleyball reference, <laughs> but yeah, it's um, it's it's exciting, man. Like it's it's nice to see your effort being paid uh, back in in recognition as well as like in in matches, like because it can go any any which way. Like I know I missed a bunch of questions um, throughout, but it's still like um, it's just <laughs> I have no words. All right. Well, thank you so much, Carlos. Appreciate it. All right, guys, we're gonna wrap it up here too. This is a uh, this was a great match, and I have to tell you, Chandra, you fought really, really hard, and you are now the movie trivia showdown inner geekdom champion, and you get to hold on to that belt until December, my friend, because you will be facing Mister the Cobra, Chance. Ellison. So uh, it's swag versus corruption. That's spectacular. Never that stops. Pretty, pretty interesting. <laughs> Never stops. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you guys. And once again, Winston, uh, hell, of a, hell of a night, my friend. And the same with the champ, Chandru. And we will see you guys pretty soon. I'm sure you're going to be on, uh, on every show next week. So I look forward to hearing. Be, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be on the Gucci verse in just a minute. So if you're I'm watching. Forward to, yeah, send it to me. I'll listen to it. All right. All right. <laughs> All right. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Going to drop you out there uh, to both. Once again, congratulations to Chandru and to Swag on a great night. Not just Chandru winning the title. You get final exam, Mark, winning another one. And we're not even close to over. Look at this. Swag now taking the lead. 30 
over. This is the first time the exchange has been out of first place since January. And now you have swag at 30 points, Fence Stock Exchange at 29, Corruption at 27. So right now, these three teams are duking it out for first place, and the tournament is right around the corner. The tournament is right around the corner, but not only the tournament, Mark, not only the tournament, you've got a massive match next week that the Finstock Exchange can get right back on the board. Dangerous Dan Merle, the movie trivia schmodown, four-time singles champion, puts the title on the line against the man he took his third title off of big time Ethan Irwin it is the third match in their first match Ethan won that match via TKO but this is a five rounder for the championship and then on the undercard you're going to see final exam for the third week in a row as they go toe to toe with last year's tournament winners Shazam, William, the Beast, Bibiani, and the Kid, Brendan Meyer. And don't forget, August 28th, what a double main event it is. Andrew Guy, Ben Bateman, part two, number one contender. The winner faces either Dan Merle or Ethan Irwin. And then on the main event, Chris Jericho, Le Champion versus Kevin Smith in one of the most high-profiled matches we've ever had in the Movie Trivia Showdown. Mark, what an exciting month. What an exciting I'm glad we're getting all these new patrons that are coming in here to check it out for the first time because live events, I mean, whether it's live in New York, Chicago, whether it's at a, a, a studio live event, and even digital, there's something about the live experience that you and I have always wanted to do, whether it is Schmoes No stand-up comedy it's just that energy that's there and i'm glad that the audience is able to experience it it's that live performance energy that you just can't capture any other way even though we may be from the comfort of our own homes with a snoring dog right behind us christian this is the stuff that dreams are made of and it doesn't come without perseverance hard work overcoming obstacles and hey that sounds like what we just saw with Chandru Dandapani defeating Kevin Smets. And both those guys have had their own careers, their own paths to pave. But I think that what we saw tonight ended up being an incredible display of knowledge, gameplay, and ultimately sportsmanship. We also saw that from the undercard tonight. And so my takeaway from all this, Christian, is that seven seasons into this, the little thing that was a kernel of a zygote of an idea back at a pizza place in Anaheim, that you still claim you know where it is, even though I know you're lying. It just, it became this thing. And now it just has its own momentum. You look at the standings, you look at each and every week when we have a new live pay-per-view event, it feels like old school NFC East where every week is so important. And we saw that once again tonight with you, with myself, with all of the competitors, the managers, the tech crew, and most importantly, the fans watching us live. Y'all were amazing. It's so good. And I got to give props once again to both Kevin Smets and um, Chandru. What they also did today is they set up what the energy is like for title matches because we have three title matches Back to back to back. You had this one tonight. Next week, of course, you got Dan Merle versus Ethan. And then the week after that, the week after that, I forgot that we it, it's so close. Corruption versus the founding fathers for the fourth time for the titles. It is going to be absolutely insane. Absolutely insane where you're going to have the founding fathers versus corruption for the championship. Mike Kalinowski, Chance Ellison. And the undercard is going to be who's the boss versus the winner of next week's teams match. It could be final exam again, or it could be Shazam. Either way, we're going to have a hell of a night as we get two big teams matches and the titles will be on the line where you have John Roca, Dan Merle, Mike Kalinowski, Chance Ellison. Oh, my God. If you ever wanted to be a patron or you ever thought about, should I be a patron? Well, now's the time to do it. So, Mark, look, it's it was an absolute absolute pleasure calling this match with you tonight i i look at the posters and and i want to go see that movie i i, I hear the music from david b and, and i want to go to that concert there's just so much greatness happening right now with the showdown so as we say good night here i just want to raise a glass to everybody watching from the mark ellis that is currently here and the mark ellis that is upstairs cheers 
Thank you to the crew. Thank you to all of you. And thank you to our competitors here today who put it all on the line. And this is becoming a, a, if you if you follow this sport, if you follow it, you know why you love it as much as we do. Get that word out. Spread it. Tell people about it. Show them on iTunes. Show them on Spotify. Show them on YouTube. Tell them about it. Let them know and show them a couple of matches and show them that clips channel. That's how you get them involved. The Schmodown Clips YouTube channel. For the great Mark Ellis, I'm Christian Harloff. See you next time.